You need to find a wake up call <laughs> because otherwise you will be under lock and key by governments. <laughs> <laughs> so How can you step into his stupid <laughs> mind so perfectly? Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. A lot of you have asked, and just so you know, if you can't make it to the live show, you can still watch the live show with the same link for one week. So go to onlocationlive.com slash your mom's house. You can purchase a ticket to the show and watch it for an entire week after the live experience. So if you can't see it live, you can still see it after. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva. Right now, you go to sattva.com slash the shit. That's for real. Sattva.com slash the shit. And you can explore the wonderful world of Sattva mattresses. That includes the luxury firm Sattva we originally had in our home and slept on. It's an incredible product, the type of mattress you'd find in a luxury hotel. Maybe you prefer memory foam and you can get the Lumen Leaf line. Also uh, an incredible product, environmentally friendly. And of course, Sattva provides incredible customer support. Why is there the Sattva URL with the shit? Because we recently, we recently got to try their product, the Solaire, which is the uh, mattress that moves up and down for you, has a zero gravity setting, incredible, incredible mattress. And when I talked to Sattva, I said, this thing is the shit. And they said, how about that URL? And I said, I like it. If you go to that URL, you get $225 credit to start with to get your mattress. So go to sattva.com slash the shit and get yourself a mattress. Wake up, white people. There's so what good morning, <laughs> good afternoon, and good evening. There's a plague across America. Um, we are here for you, chomos. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, very exciting episode to get into. So many fun things to discuss, including our drive in and the cool lady that we saw <laughs> standing at a stoplight. Yeah. The yeah. Valley has so many treasures. It's a cultural, people think it's devoid of culture. Not true. It's just a different type of culture. Different type of culture. It's street culture. Yeah. And many, and strip malls. And there's everything here. Everything you want is here. Foot massage. We got a uh, pot if you want to buy a pot. You can get vape <laughs> pens. You can get your foot massage. You can do your laundry. Get uh, s some yogurt, frozen Persian yogurt. Persian food. Yep. Kebabs. Kebabs. You can do a real estate deal. All in the same <laughs> plaza. All in the same <laughs> plaza. It's all right there for you. It's really exciting stuff. Um, yeah. And there's cool people everywhere. <laughs> Here's one of them. Let's start the show. All right. I was just at CVS and a man that doesn't even work for CVS wouldn't let me in the door and he threw me out the door. He doesn't even work for CVS. He wasn't wearing one of their shirts. What the fuck? Anderson Cooper paid this man to make me angry. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. <laughs> your mom is fucking dead! Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsin. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. You have a lot of languages on your arms today. I do. It's in Chinese, and then Ru Russian, and then Japanese, and then Arabic. And English. What does it all say? Adidas. You think so? Yeah. Adidas, Adidas, Adidas. It's pretty rad. It's an Adidas shirt. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah. You look handsome. Thanks. Mm, I like you. I like your hair. Thanks. I did it today. Looks nice. Thanks. This is a Karen. Yep. Let me be the first to say, shut up, Karen. Shut up, Karen. Shut up. But before um, 
we're done with you. I'll show you, I'll see where, show you where it goes. Mm -hmm. She's not too stable. They're not letting me buy things to hydrate myself. I want to buy some tea. <laughs> fuck you, America, for making me live like this. What the fuck is wrong with everyone? They said I'm not allowed to buy anything. What the fuck? She's really good teeth, though. Shut up, Karen. <laughs> yeah, she's, uh, she's wild, man. She is out there. Yeah. Yeah. She sounds like she's doing an impression of someone. Like, that doesn't even seem like it's a real voice, but I think it really is. It is. Voice. And and the more unreal it seems, often the more real it is. Yeah. It seems like she's in, like, I would say she seems like she's in tier two of an improv school. Yeah. Like she's, she got the uh, improv kind of stuff down. And she's doing characters now. Well, that's why she said I could not go in there. <laughs> like, hey, what's a. I know. Pretty bold character you're well, doing there. Well, that's there. why Twin Peaks was so successful. Remember that TV show, Twin yeah. Peaks? Because the truth is reality is weirder than fiction. Mm -hmm. And characters like that, like the log lady and, you know, backward talking little people, that's more real sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And it <sighs> seems so strange, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. yeah. yeah. Like our czar face uh, video. Yeah. Yep, it's uh, it's really something, man. This I lady wear is. I my mask for you. Why aren't you protecting me? <laughs> it's really triggering people up. This mask stuff, huh? Well, so we saw we were at a stoplight on the way in here. We saw a nice lady. She had a neat outfit on. <laughs> she had Crocs, camo pants, um, <laughs> pretty nondescript shirt, a mask. Which you know, Pink. protective, and then um, a a wool knit winter hat. It's uh, by the <laughs> way, it's August in Los Angeles. Should be about 105 in the valley today. <laughs> She had her winter skull cap uh, on, and it was pink. The face mask was pink. Yeah, and then her fanny pack was like that's right. She also had a fanny pack psychedelic, on. but uh, so she was like pacing a little bit, and I was like. <laughs> And uh, and then as we drove we drove away, I go, do you think she's good in bed? And uh, and then Christina goes, well, you guys are always saying that the crazy ones are good in bed. And I was like, not that kind of crazy. I was like, did you think that that's what we meant? And she was like, yeah. I was like, no. I did. I I didn't know what kind of crazy because when no, people no. say crazy. I do picture good in bed for a woman. The personality disorder. No, no. The a good the in bed. When, 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 when you hear men say that crazy women are good in bed, oh. we mean volatile, jealous, oh. like unpredictable, showing up at work. Like, for the fuck, why are you texting me back? <laughs> like, that girl's good in bed. Not the lady oh. who's like, <laughs> not like pacing at a bus stop. Wearing a knit cap uh, in a hundred degree way. Like, like but how she do doesn't you, know. She's, but how do you know she's not good in no, bed? No, no. It's the volatile, unpredictable. She seems like she could jealous. go volatile, volatile and unpredictable too. I don't think so. She no, might no. hallucinate a little. Yeah, no, she doesn't. <laughs> believe me, she's, she hasn't been around a penis in decades, that woman. I'm talking about a totally different type you of crazy. Like, okay, just erratic behavior. Yeah, Girls yeah. Girls who are like, I saw that girl comment on yeah. your picture. Let me see her fucking phone. Oh, yeah, that. Let me see your phone. Why'd you like her picture? And you're like, yeah, um, yeah. I don't do that with you. Right. Like, I, I don't monitor who you follow on the gram. Well, you're not crazy. I don't think I'd be married to you. Or DMing. I wouldn't be married to you. DMs. You don't marry crazy. Oh, so I know. Could no. you imagine if you did? Oh, that'd be bad. No, yeah, you'd end up fucking <sighs> dead or killing someone. <laughs> okay. You give you give crazy a spin. You take it for a drive, it's and like, you're like, "This is too crazy." <laughs> do you have anything with less horsepower? <laughs> how ma how about, so? How long do you, so? How long do you ban? I mean, there's crazy? some. There are some people that are addicted. Like there are men who. It's just like you see women that get into dating patterns where they keep dating wrong type of guy yes, they like the there drama. are guys that like that like the drum dramatic unpredictable yeah. woman so true so i could never date it I've, I've went out on dates with with crazy I've, yes. I've been out with crazy but i was never like be my girlfriend that's true because i could i could all my alarms were too strong yeah yeah i remember my father when he met you mm. he goes you know i guess some girls they like this kind of a guy who you know he comes home every night and he calls you every day some girls like this i don't know yeah and i'm like wait what there's 
Stable. They're, you're supposed to not like that. I was like, I thought this I was mean, the goal. That's perfect coming from him <laughs> because for him, that he'd be like, "What is the fun?" He. That's right. The fun is that the, maybe they won't reach out for a week. <laughs> that's the worst. While we're dating, it's the worst. Yeah. Have you? I because I've dated. I dated a guy like that. It was torture. Yeah. Where like they don't call you for days, and then you're like, "Hey, what? but be honest, good and bad. Pretty exciting. Yeah, yeah." yeah. Yeah. Pretty exciting stuff. Yeah. That's the problem, right? Yeah. Is that it does create that yeah, sense exciting. of drama. Yeah. Yeah. A little unavailability. Was it college? College. Yeah. yeah college. I think I know who he was. Kind of yeah. tall. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, can we not? <laughs> can we not? But I'll tell you what, though. After that guy, I was like, no more. Yeah. I like I like steady. I went out with a girl normal. who was, you know, uh, like would disappear all this stuff you know what i mean like you just yeah, w- it's horrible and then she would reach back i'd be like what's up I'm like i haven't heard from you and you know <laughs> and here's what happened like we went out a few times and mm-hmm. yeah she was kind of an animal you know in See? bed it was fun yeah but i was did like she spit on your taint i mean <laughs> like i met her and she was like come inside me and you're like all right wow i'm so, the first date oh yeah yeah seriously there's i was people like that do- i don't think uh, okay so <laughs> i was just twisted your arm <laughs> And then later the I was time. like, eh, was that a good idea? Like, <laughs> do you? And she was like, people do it all the time. You're fine. <laughs> so uh, that's brazen for a lady to let you uh, blow a load inside on the first time. First date. Here's the thing though. So like she's, she's kind of a, she's kind of an animal. Yeah. She's, she's not like, you could tell that she knew how to act, but would only do it from time to, you know what I mean? Like she's raised well, but she's kind of crazy. She can hold it together. She can hold it together, but she's kind of crazy. And, yeah. and like she's um, indecisive, you know, yeah. which keeps you on edge, yeah. which which makes it more exciting. But you're like, do you want, to, do you like this feeling? Like, I don't like that feeling. <laughs> I don't either. But here's the thing. I really hate so it. So I chased her a few times, right? Yeah. Like, and yeah. I, would, I would try to get her to date me and, and she would, we would date and then she would go away oh. and then disappear until one day I was like, Nah, like I I totally stopped pursuing and uh-huh. I was done. And then and then they come sniffing in your yard, so right? Now they're sniffing in my yard, writing me letters. Yes, that's what they do. I'm, you know, I I did all these things. I was already like, I'm just not interested anymore. Yeah, though. you lose it because yeah. they they've hurt you so much. I was like, I'm not interested again. anymore. I will, however, finish inside you again. <laughs> if that gives you closure, I'm willing to do it. <laughs> One more time. One last. One last. Uh, yeah. You have to have one last sex with that. Uh, okay, dad. <laughs> uh, but hold on. Uh, I'm make you cry. Can I just bring up? <laughs> but see, these bitches are fucking evil. Yeah. Because they don't really like you. Like, remember we were watching that Brazilian dating show? So there's a show called Dating Around. There's one in the U.S. and then there's one in Brazil. It's a good show. And it really is really well done. The only problem is you got to read. And I don't like to read while I'm watching TV. Yeah. But it's kind of worth it. This girl, it. this girl, this fucking. She's exactly what we're talking about. She's a hundred percent that type. This girl right here <gasps> that you're seeing, it. She's exactly oh. what we're talking about. Tom, Tom. What? Remember the whole oh, and the whole time. Oh my god! This is her the whole on the whole, every time the camera cuts to her, she's going literally every two seconds. Oh, it's it like was, it's like uh, hey, I, I would have been like and me as a 41 <laughs> year old man. I'd be like, hey, stop touching your fucking hair so much. <laughs> you're doing it every two seconds. Are you all right? <laughs> It's a tick. Is something it in was, your hair? It was a tick. For What's wrong her. with you? Because could you? I, that, and that's another thing we were saying is that imagine you on this dating show oh, at 40, 41 years old, and you're just like, could you stop it? Could you fucking order already? You know what happened though? <laughs> she would end up liking me. So she would she end would up like she would like me because I'd be like, you're fucking annoying, and then she'd be like, what? What? Because all these guys were like, see, just gazing at her, and she was toying with all of them. Toying I've went out with I went out with a girl like her too. Well, there are guys like that too. Right, but this girl, yes. that Brazilian girl, knows how to t- play with men. Manipulate. Yes. Oh yeah. She knows how to play with men. She knows them so well, and has them all eating out of her fucking eating palm. out of her yeah. pussy. And the, what she does the, is flattery, and then the hair, and just <laughs> and she knows, and, and she then, flirts, oh, and she I makes. What well, thing is, that she makes every guy feel like he's the man like he's the way that right. she she See, knows how to yeah, look at them yeah. and just toy with them and she is like uh yeah she actually reminds me of a girl i went out with but these girls are very malicious because it, they don't actually like men 
What they like is the attention that that guy is giving her at that moment. And they're, they're sucking vortexes. They're just it, evil. There's such a dark inside of them. That and girl? Just, yes. Yeah, she's, she's, and she's she just is. sucking attention. It's not even about the guy. She doesn't even see, not, she's she's doesn't care who it is. She's empty inside. It's scary. Right. So anyway, it's a great cautionary tale for any young, young bucks listening. Study that girl. Yeah, yeah. If you watch that girl... Ooh. You'll you'll probably at some there's some part of you that'll find her attractive because she's gorgeous she's gorgeous yeah, she's a beautiful girl twenty year old perfect looking girl but you'll also evil you'll see what is like you should have the alarms also of like this is manipulation because yeah. that's what she's doing and she's, she's like manipulating I'll give you back let's just kiss a little kiss a little she makes out kiss everybody. everyone yeah such a whore <laughs> she had there's one exchange such a whore where the um she goes how important he goes, how important is sex to you in a relationship? And she was, she goes, uh, at least 50% of is based on sex. And he goes, I think 80. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like this is your, your relationship is like, yeah. Eight, well, they're, so they're, 80% of the time you're like, are we fucking or what? Yeah, they're 20. Like that's Not when you're 20 years old, <laughs> your, your relationship is pizza and yeah, fucking. I guess There's so. There's nothing else. Netflix and fuck. I mean, I mean, I'm just trying to think of like, if you go like, what is, what is, 80% a of the relationship is, it's <laughs> it's quite funny. a bit. Especially yeah. if like, you're an adult. Yeah, you got to be like, well, <laughs> you know, communication, uh, uh, having similar Children interests too, or, or like, like whatever. Family. Just things that like you click on. <laughs> this guy's like, no, we wake up, we fuck. We eat, we fuck. We well, shower, we fuck. Well, Dr. Drew and his wife. I guess theirs is, is kind of like. 80. I don't know. Is, is, it, is it 80, you think? Mm, it's a lot. I don't fucking know. Yeah. But yeah, that chick is that chick is evil because I was friends with girls like that growing up. Yeah. And I would watch them do that to boys. And I'm like, oh, this chick is so evil. We're fuck partners. Yeah. Yeah. It's not cool. Uh, real quick. I got to make this uh, real clear for the audience here. This is a big deal. OK. Well, oh. big deal. Su Whoa. Listen. So we're very excited. In just a few days, we're doing the first ever live streaming your mom's house podcast. It's uh, Friday, August 14th, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 Eastern. Also available all over the world at the same time. It is a live worldwide streaming event. Tickets are available on locationlive.com slash your mom's house. Here's a couple things I have to point out that people that might not know. This, this, what you see, will not be on our regular YouTube feed, your mom's house YouTube feed. It, it will not be there. It is not permissible in any way, shape, or form. That's why we're doing it at a completely different platform. Uh, people who have, have asked a lot, and I've tried to answer a few people via uh, responses and stuff, but just so that it's on this feed and you understand, if you're, not av if you're not available to watch it live, but you're still interested in seeing it, you can go to the same link, the onlocationlive.com slash your mom's house, for a week after it after it airs so it's, it's airing friday uh, night for an entire week if you go to that link you can still purchase and watch the show there there's special appearances on it um my parents top dog and charo are joining us uh via zoom to not just have a conversation but also watch clips <laughs> um it's going to be a lot of fun. Of course, the first time Top Dog's ever appearing on camera. We're always we're very excited about that. They're excited to do it. And uh, let's just see one other thing. Uh, yeah, we are talking about getting it um, and having a heavily censored version and putting it on the channel members. So that should be something that happens another week after that. Um, but this on location service is allowing us to play clips completely uncensored, which is very exciting. The link to watch this uh to get those tickets if you haven't is in the description of this video uh, we've also been posting about it on twitter on instagram so make sure you join us if you can we're really excited and a lot of you have uh have signed up for it so thank you very much for that now you've also been bribing your mother in advance of yeah. this thing i sent her uh cosmetics creams yeah yeah to get her prime nice priming stuff. the pump if priming you will. the pump yeah and i'm sure there will be an after show gift that i'm yeah. required yeah just me for a car this week and i just fucking hung up so <laughs> oh my gosh yeah i was like what kind of car i don't know she was like why don't you give me a car i'm like what well she wanted my car she wanted my jeep 
And I'm like, what if I put a pair of tits on top of it and then send it to you? She's like, okay. Yeah. Like, I'm know. not going to do that. You crazy lady. She, um, I, I should buy like a $500 car though. You know what I mean? Like something with like, like 300,000 miles, like yeah. a junk, like ready to junk and be like, and just have it delivered with a bow <laughs> to the house. Like, here's a car. Uh, it didn't make any sense. She actually asked me, she was like, would you buy me a car? And I was like, didn't you get a car today? <laughs> yeah, it's so weird. She got a car. She got a car yesterday, and I, she was like, "Jeez," and I was like, "You want you want another car on top of the car you just got today?" And she was like, "Why not?" And I was like, "Well, what for? You're 75. Like you're not jumping in and out of cars all the time." She was like, "I just want something exciting." She yeah, like yeah. She has a, a weird relationship with objects. She yeah. doesn't actually use them. She just likes owning them. Like yeah. computers and stuff. It's so strange, man. It is a, a weird relationship. Yeah. Um, oh, this this was uh, everywhere, and I'm so excited that we get to watch it again. It went viral, but I like it so much. Mm. It's just kind of fun, and I hope that um, if you haven't seen it, you get to enjoy it here. You want it, him, bitch? <laughs> is that who you really want it? You sure about that? There he is, bitch. There he is. <laughs> she, he, is he? Wait, the point is like you dumped me for that guy, and now you're going to see what a winner I am. Yep, I'm going to eat a wasp's nest. It's crazy. Yeah, it does kind of look like Josh Brolin. It does look like it Josh does. Brolin. Uh, I hope he plays him in this movie. <laughs> uh, he put that in his mouth. Yeah. He's like, you want... You see the eyes, though? Yeah. Like, um... Now, what do you think, though, Tom? You wanted him, bitch. Those are what I would call sedated eyes. <laughs> Someone has consumed one or more substances sure. to get into this mind state. <laughs> but question, do you think he's good in bed? Yes. Yes. I think he... I oh, think this guy... Oh. Does and he all. says no. You don't think so? What's going on, Annie? Really? Think too crazy? I mean, he just ate a wasp's nest, man. That's yeah. that's the type of crazy you're saying is not the good crazy. Oh no. I think he passed the line. Uh, <laughs> I I think this guy is like shit in my mouth. And, yeah, yeah. And like, because he doesn't care what goes in his mouth. So and I, and I don't think he's a selfish <laughs> lover. I think he's like, you want to see me fuck for three hours? And you're like, uh, yeah. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I think he's just like. I think he actually hangs his hat on his like stamina. And, I like, think so. Yeah. Well, c can you fuck? You can fuck longer with meth, right? Yeah. 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 And you just you... kind of just keep going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You come in four strokes. My yeah. brother didn't believe me. Yeah, he believes me now. He no Man, neuropathy you, issues at all. You have been playing Ed Asner's clip ad nauseum in our house. Like I will walk by you taking a dump and it's don't be stingy, Mark. Like I hear it coming from the bathroom. Yeah. It's really weird how much I watch like him. It. I watch him all day, and yeah. I send him to people, and I just get a bet. I get a bunch of like, "What the fuck is this?" kind of texts, which are my favorite. And I'll be like, "Oh, is that the wrong text?" <laughs> <laughs> my favorite is you told you gave it to your friend Sean. Yeah, you still haven't corrected him that it's not. Edited. Oh yeah, he's like, "This is the guy," because he just <laughs> he's not like you know de like devouring showbiz names and stuff i'm like this is the guy he, oh that's the thing he'd never seen elf he's like i would never seen it. I go, this is the guy that played santa claus and he was like shut up like he totally and then later on she was like what do you think of that clip she goes that guy was, is a famous actor like he didn't uh, we didn't tell him oh before we forget let's give an update to everybody on your bicycle and your bicycle woes and the tweaker guy yes yes we got to wrap this up um so so you remember that um, I thought that somebody was just going to steal my bike <laughs> or bikes actually yeah, four bikes all, all four of them yeah. we had two electric and um, two old cruisers and the guy came to the house and he had like weird energy and yeah. then I paid him the deposit and he just took the bike and I was like this guy I just something was wrong so 
the thing was, my bike it just had like a little squeak. I was like, I don't even know if you need to take mine. He goes, well, I can fix that. And I go, well, when can I have it back? And he goes, I can get you yours tomorrow and the rest in like a few days. And I was like, okay. This was like a Saturday that he picked them up. So you bring it to me. I can have it tomorrow, Sunday? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sunday, the, he never comes and, and never calls. <laughs> and so Monday, same thing. So Monday afternoon, I'm like, hey, man, you said you were going to bring me mine back. And what, what's up? He's just, he writes back like, hey, man, like, it's super crazy busy right now and all this <laughs> stuff. And I'm like, okay. Like, you're his buddy. Yeah, I'm like, but you said. Paid. So I actually, I'll, I'll, sh- I'll, I'll read you some of these. Oh, boy. Buckle up, guys. Yeah, it, it's wild. It's wild because it, it got real, real it got bad. He- yeah. So this guy, I mean, he's so crazy. He's so insane. Um. Hey, I go, no one reached out again about the bikes because I, I sent him a message. He goes, sorry, running late. The thing came in, so we will have them ready by opening time in the morning. We can drop them off tomorrow late morning to midday. Does that work for you? And I go, if you can drop it midday, that would be ideal. That's my response on Wednesday now. Don't forget I was supposed to get mine back Sunday. Sunday. Great, thanks. I'll follow you up with you around uh, opening time tomorrow, he tells me. Meantime, let me know, blah, blah, blah. And uh, have a good evening. Okay. Okay. So that's what he said. He's going to text me at the opening time tomorrow, which would be Thursday. Yeah. I text him Thursday at 3 (laughs) p.m. Okay. So again, I'm asking for an update on my bikes. And he goes, sorry, I just saw your text right now. I'm sorry for the delay. I promise we're not trying to avoid you. And then he switches. No other shop would have done what we could have done. (laughs) I understand your frustration and miscommunication or lack of. I promise you. Uh, you will hear back from me either way in the next couple hours. Thanks for your patience. I promise you you will have the bikes back to ride for the weekend. And I go, okay, thanks. That was <laughs> in the morning. All right. So four hours later, he goes, sorry for the late text. I just got back into a good area. So the seat post we ordered had a small scratch. So I had to have a new one sent over. Otherwise, everything is fully complete. I'll follow up in the morning to confirm the delivery window. All right. Okay, thanks. So that's Thursday night. He's going to follow up in the morning. On Friday morning. On Friday morning. We're expecting a text. Okay. No one reaches out. No one texts. No one calls. (laughs) 3 p.m. Friday. I text him. What's up, man? (laughs) Just waiting for the replacement post to arrive. Then we can drop it off right away. Oh, my God. (laughs) And he goes, I'm giving it till 5 p.m. Okay. Thanks. That's Friday afternoon. In the evening, I go, when are you coming by? And then I, I send a question mark an hour after that. And he goes, the first, it, it's just more shit, you know? Yeah, not, not. But he tweak, says that he'll be there. Nonsense. I'll, he says, I'll be there. To, you'll be our first appointment in the morning between 20, 1045 and 1145. This is like every now day. This Saturday is Saturday or Friday. Right, so now it's Saturday. It'll be Saturday at 1045. He'll drop it off. So I go, okay, I'll see you in the morning. He goes, thanks. Have a good evening. So it's Saturday morning. He goes, Tom, we're getting the final thing wrapped up as we speak. We're going to be there closer to 1245. <laughs> so I'll text you. Oh and I go, God. okay, thanks. So Oof, I'm exhausted I text already. I, I need know, a nap after them. these exchanges. I say, uh, what do I owe you? And he goes, sorry, I just saw this come in. Um, blah, blah, blah. Do you have a bike pump? I go, we don't have one. He goes, I'll set you up with one. I go, okay, cool. And he's like, I'm waiving the tax and I'm discounting everything. And I go, Okay, I'll be home in five minutes because that'll be like 12.45. What's your ETA? Are you close? And he goes, sorry on the other line, but I'm on the way from another location hitting some traffic. <laughs> Should be 35 minutes. And I go, okay, what's your ETA? Man, I got to get going. And he goes, oh, I'm sorry, I'm stuck in horrible traffic. Now it's uh, 2.15 in the afternoon. And I go... <laughs> Man, you told me 10.45 first, first available. He goes, I apologize. I'm running a, a small crew right now due to the crisis. My estimated time of arrival now is 35 minutes from now. It's 2.15. I'm like, I go, this is ridiculous, man. And he goes, I'm really sorry. I thought oh we, uh, we had one of our guys out with health issues. Now there's like <laughs> another guy. Um, we're, really, we're really screwed up. And it's and like an essay. He's writing Yeah, he's writing like essay. just huge long texts. Um, 
he finally uh oh i finally tell him i go hey man because uh, i'm leaving stuff out to not like really but i just go oh he said he he goes you don't have a bike pump so i'm charging you but i'll give you a bike pump and i'm like fine so i i purposely didn't want to see him so i didn't put my hands on him so <laughs> when i told him where to leave them so i go to i go to my bikes <laughs> and i'm looking for the bike pump and i go did you leave a pump because i don't see one and and he goes uh no i called him and he goes i don't i didn't leave it and i go what <laughs> you charge me for a pump after all this bullshit I go, I'm going to leave you. A, you're going to have 1,000 one-star reviews in a couple days. <laughs> and he goes, I don't understand why you're so upset. <laughs> Here's the other thing that I'm, I'm, not, I'm leaving out. I talked to him <sighs> like three times during the week about like, I was like, hey, man, you keep saying things, but like you're not calling me. You're not. You're not following. Yeah, yeah you're not following, not up. following and up. And he's like, he's like, man, he gives me all this shit. But then he would go. I promise you from now on, we'll have great communication. I'll text you first thing in the morning. So I'm leaving that out of these texts is that like, we would also talk yeah. and he was like, I'll text you first thing in the morning. And then I would text him at 3 PM. What's up, man. So anyways, he was like super apologetic. He said all this bullshit. Like I'll take care of you, extend your warranty. And you're like, like, I want to work with you. Why the fuck would I want a warranty with you? You know? <laughs> guy finally he's like someone will come drop off the pump i go don't have him like knock on my door i don't want to see anybody that you work with <laughs> i just because I, I don't want to murder all you guys you know he t he lays me like this fucking like library i mean this is a goddamn newspaper article you know and then i go well i have that warranty right i ride my bike off of a curb the other day and the seat adjusts i'm like hey um you know since i have this warranty can I, can you replace it? Can you fix it? And he's like, no problem. Let me know what day works best for you. <laughs> and I Here go, I go, yeah, again. today or tomorrow. I sent him a picture. Oh boy. And I go, do you think someone can come by? This is the next day. <laughs> he's like, good morning. Yeah, sorry, I missed your message. <laughs> Here we go. Again. Somebody will come by today or tomorrow. Th check it over. Thanks. Okay. That was, uh, that was five days ago. No one ever called over. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, you, and here's the thing. It's drugs. I, I, yeah, it's I, drugs. You know, the guy's on drugs. I purpose, if you're like, oh my God, I didn't text his, I didn't post his name, I didn't post no. their business. I, you know, I actually think it would be a service to everybody to post this place so that you never fucking deal with them because they're absolutely criminals, And but I'm not going to, to I do that. I wasn't a fart, that was just my seat moving. Yeah, no, but I'm just saying, I'm not, <clears throat> but not going to destroy it. So I met it. this guy when he first came to give us the assessment. Tom, yeah, yeah. And he was skinny, gray. His skin was gray. He was sweating profusely and he was talking really fast and a lot of talking. Should I call him right now and just say like, hey man. Yeah. Or should I text him? Should I text him and be like, hey, no one ever came by? No. No? We had to call this guy first. And, and he's then we'll nodding. Call the guy. I think we should call him. Let's yeah. call him. Let's see. I want to hear the excuses. <laughs> I do want to hear. Let's hear this tweaker. No, because we you. can't put his voice on. We're not because we're not uh, going like, to yeah. recording. I do want to hear him talk. Oh, I'm sorry, man. He's he's a tweaker, guys. Yeah, teeth are all jacked up. Yeah, he's he talks so much, and I had my kids in the house. I go, look, dude, just take the bikes. I got my kids. It was unbelievable. I mean, this last one is unbelievable, right? He's like, I got your back, dude. Yeah, he's out of his <laughs> mind. Jesus he's Christ. on drugs, babe. Oh, yeah. So, okay. So, this is actually pretty exciting. Let's go to, um, what is today's? 564. So, we're about to call Fed Smoker's nemesis, Alistair. Okay? Yeah. This is a reminder, just so you know who we're about to talk to. So, you're having some problems in Rifle, Colorado, in Durango. Way to go, Rifle. Keep up the good work. Okay, this guy. He does not like Fed Smoker. Had beef with him. In your fucking community, man. This is the fucking guy. Do I want to hit you? Oh, I'd love to, bud. I'd love to, man. Look at this. See this? See this shit? Look at this. What you gonna do? Cause you ain't gonna do nothing, buddy. Take a swing, man. I'll show you what I do. So you gonna stand here in front of me and fucking tell me that shit? Take a swing, brother. It's right here. Swing where? Fucking cunt. 
fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> fucking pussy. <laughs> it's like looking into a mirror. Oh, I mean, so great. Birds of a feather. All right, so that's Alistair. He obviously had beef with Fed Smoker. <laughs> Let's get the deets right now. <laughs> I'm just going to be quiet. You talk man to man, okay? Yeah, he might not like. Oh. This is John. Hey, Alistair? Yeah. Hey, how you doing, man? It's Tom Segura. How are you? I'm doing all right. How about you, buddy? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. Thanks so much for uh, taking the time to do this, man. Good, yeah. <clears throat> not a problem. Hey, so... I don't, I'm sure you, you have some background on it. So we, like a lot of people, became familiar with uh, Conald, a.k.a. Fed Smokers videos, just from, you know, uh, perusing the Internet and, and finding crazy stuff. And, um, you know, we, we, got, we just got to digest who he is in small doses, like in these little videos. Um, and then we ended up obviously finding a few with you. What was your, what's your background in how did you end up meeting Conald? Well, if I had to pick up my grandkids at school, yeah. take them to a doctor's appointment, <clears throat> and uh, they had the schools on lockdown in two counties, and I was like, why the fuck are the schools on lockdown in two counties? Mm -hmm. said, because of this guy that's up at the library, and I said, what guy? And I said, who the fuck? I, so I went and knocked on the school doors again. I said, the kids got appointments. I said, I need to get them to their appointment. <clears throat> and uh, she said, I'm not letting the kids out. She goes, John, I don't want to have anybody cause any panic in town or anything like that with the situation. So just leave it as it is and please just, you know, go away. And I said, fuck this motherfucker. I said, <laughs> yeah. So I went up there and I found him at the library and they had the library on lockdown. They had the Wi-Fi shut off. They had the grocery store shut down. And these poor people are like, this guy's got everybody scared in the stores and shit. And I'm all, this is fucking bullshit. So I went over to the car, and he was acting like he was asleep in the car, fake sleeping. Yeah. So I pounded on the window, and he didn't fucking wake up and shit. And I said, what's up, motherfucker? And he just talked to me. Yeah. <laughs> And I took the Suburban, and it's kind of loud. It's got no exhaust on it. I backed it up to it, and I revved it up to his door. He still wouldn't wake up. Whoa. So I drove off, and I came back, and he was walking up to the library doors. And <clears throat> and I'm not going to lie. I probably should have just went on home and left it alone. But for some reason, when I couldn't get my grandkids, I was just like, this is fucked up. I said, this whole town scared this little motherfucker in this car. So I went back and fucking finally he got out of the car and shit. And I swear as God is my judge, every cop in the fucking community, state troopers are down on Highway 36 now. Now the fucking Fuel County Sheriff's is behind me. And they really don't like me a lot anyhow because, <clears throat> well, my wife was a bail bondsman and it was kind of, that's another story. Right. And, uh, so... Finally, he, he gets out. He's got a video camera and shit, and everybody says, no, don't hit him, don't hit him. He's going to call the cops on you. I said, well, let's do this. I said, let's go on out to my house, because I got a farmhouse where we have no problem where the cops do not get called. And we'll fucking boot this motherfucker up. Let's box it out. Boy, you want to fucking box it out? Let's box it out. Well, this is, so but he didn't want to have no firms in that, but his basic beef, and it was kind of interesting watching him on Facebook, and it was kind of entertaining. I'm not going to lie. Right, yeah. After a while, it got kind of boring, you know. All he did was harass fucking churches. And yeah. Harass That's the thing is that, like, in sm some small doses, it was kind of funny. But then sometimes I would put myself in the mindset of, you know, if he, um, if he were doing that to me or the place I was trying to spend time, I would be really bothered by him, too, you know. Well, you know, I'm going to tell you right now, the dude actually is an artist. Uh -huh. And I met him a long time ago, and I didn't really know I met him. He had a, a tattoo parlor over in Smith Center and lived yes, in the basement. That's right. And then, uh, and then I, ran, I found out, you know, I was trying to get him to do some artwork because I'm all sleeved out, you know, back and chest and shit and neck. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I said, you know, I got to meet somebody that's a tattoo artist and I don't see where their history comes from. 
you know, because I come a long road. And then I see some of his artwork up in uh, Smith Center or uh, Red Cloud. He's got some artwork up on the restaurant up in there and stuff, you know. So the guy comes and then, you know, he's got some friends that, you know, he used to live by. But, you know, I don't think he'd come by the easiest life as a child and stuff like that. Yeah. So, but, you know, and most artists that are really good artists, you know, I ain't gonna lie, they're fucking Looney Tunes, bro. Right. So you know, was, was he a good artist? Was he a good tattoo artist? Uh, from what I heard, he was. You yeah. Know, I heard he was really, really good with his artwork, and he could whip shit up really fucking quick. I think maybe he took some LSD and never came back. Because he was also, it's it's been um, thrown around that he might have really been into meth, too, you know? He was. I heard stories that he was. And, Coke, and I seen some videos and shit um, that he was on. Because if you really troll really hard on... You know, it was winter time. You know, in construction, you ain't pouring a lot of concrete. So, I was just basically trolling on the internet, watch, watching some of his some of his fucking videos. He's pretty fucking demented in, but you know, I ain't gonna be true. But he's got a kid somewhere in Missouri, and what you know, what um, where did, where was he calling in? Like when they shut down the school and the the library, what city or what state was that in? Kansas. That was on Highway 36 in Kansas. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was, he started out in Smith Center in Phillipsburg, and he ended up over here, and everybody was all fucking scared of him, but. What's the, tell me the video, because I saw the video where you're walking, and he's walking down like a little, like a little sidewalk, and you're like, what's up, Connell? Where's that? That library. That's the library? Yeah. Is that the day that shit was called in and shut down? Yeah. That's the oh, same day. Oh, wow. He, he wouldn't leave. He doesn't leave his towns. Once he's there, he's there. He waits like the sheriff finally gave him some money later on and told him, look. And then he came back, and the sheriff, one sheriff knows me. A couple of the sheriffs were friends with me, and a couple of them were, you know, so it's yeah. kind of too. Yeah. So one of them told me, he said, John, he gave him some money so he could fucking leave town. And that's what he did. He finally went. East and started harassing the next town. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he he was pretty good at that. So, do, um, do you remember when you heard he had died? Yeah, actually, for since I've been in contact with him, like my face, my YouTube uh, gets like thousands of hits and shit from him, and people comment and shit. And sometimes I just like you know quit paying attention to it, and I was like, oh my god. And, um, I almost wanted to change my name again, you know. Do you want to uh, promote? Do you want to promote your YouTube channel? Yeah, I don't have a problem. What's What's your YouTube it. channel? What is it called? <laughs> that Alistair Thorne one that you see. Okay. On there, Alistair Thorne. Okay. I'm more or less trying to promote my son, who's a guitarist. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's very cool. So, wait, where were you when you heard he had died? Uh, I was actually sitting right here in that house. Yeah. Oh wow. And, uh, well, and did you get did you get a call or did you get a text or something? Uh, uh it was on Facebook, going all over Facebook. Cause oh. Like Facebook gets too, you know. Every once in a while, so like, he came private on Facebook because, like, Jesus Christ, I even started getting calls from people in other sheriff's departments in other counties. They're like, wow, what the fuck? I don't know these people. What do we know so, about him? Yeah. Life. Do you know? Do you know anything about about Connell's life, like that um, that people might not like anything else about it? I mean, obviously he was an artist, but do you know anything about his background, his his life, or did he have a wife, or where he was from, or anything? You know, I he had to have had a girlfriend at one time to have a kid. Sure. So, you know, other than that, no. I, I guess he had some family around. And I know that he did, he instigated some cases and put some guy away in, uh, I want to say Grand Island or Kearney, Nebraska, for arson, terroristic threats or something like that. Hmm. And so testified on that case away? or something. So he, whenever, wait, he, got, he got someone put away for that? <laughs> yeah, because what he does is he, like he said, he gets, starts these instigations and shit with people and then he calls the cops and wants them to help him out. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? You know, and you start pushing the cops on their case. Right. So, 
He harasses the cops and then uses them for backup. Right, so he's he really is Fed Smoker, twenty four seven. He's a double secret agent. <laughs> he's a CI double agent. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, how about today? Because he's gone. Rest in peace, Connell Eugene. Um, Peters is it Peterson? Um, that, yeah. uh, how about to honor Fed Smoker, Alistair? How about today? We um, I don't know. Let's call in a bomb threat to a gas station <laughs> and just see what happens. You know. <laughs> just fire a couple shots in the air for us, you know, just to to show respect. No, Fed, he, you know, he, he had a heart of gold with some people, but you yeah. know, if someone was down and out and on their luck and he had money to give them or something, he'd give them money. He had videos of it. Wow. So he, but he would also he would also just kind of flip and, and do other shit, too, I guess. I, I think his own people in the car and shit. Yeah, that's, that's kind of fucking. I think it was the drugs, man. That was just too much, you know. I, yeah, he, yeah, he was a transient. That's for sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that it's car, and so. there's always different dogs in it, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was, uh, he was something. Different dogs in it. Uh, like so the second car. <laughs> yeah, he he was something, man. Well, well, well look, it was nice he to... He used to have a bicycle down in in Florida. He had a bike? Yeah. Well, oh. we have a repair guy. Yeah. I have a guy that's just like him. I should put him in touch. <laughs> um, Alistair, thanks for jumping on the phone with us, man. It was it was nice to, to hear a little story and uh, actually talk to somebody who had actually met the infamous Fed Smoker. So thank you for your time, man. Yeah, thank you. It'd be good talking to you guys. All right, buddy. Thank Take you. care. You too. Bye. Bye. Wow. Yeah. Well, that okay. was something, huh? Who knew that Fed Smoker did some actual good? Yeah. I mean, he really it led to somebody being arrested for arson. Is that so he was like nutty. he would start shit and then call the cops and be like, "What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do?" Like, <laughs> so nutty. Here's the guy right here, man. I found the guy. Are you gonna fucking bring him in or not, Tomo? <laughs> Ah, yeah. ah. <laughs> it's a CI double agent. Yeah, that's so funny. He, he legit said. was. Yeah, he knew. So he oh, was yeah. keeping tabs on. He knew. Him too. Alistair knew, man. Yeah. What a great legacy. Yeah, it's pretty great. Um, this is gonna really um, knock your tits off. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, oh, oh, as a final uh, farewell to Fed Smoker. Ta ta, there, retard. <laughs> so. Uh, Tony, a.k.a. Fart Simpson, a.k.a. DJ Skull Vomit, uh, who every time Talented. he does a prank phone call, I feel like it tops the previous one, and I go, there's no way you can top this. He did it again. He's amazing. This is, this is his latest. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Fart Simpson. Uh, you can find him on Instagram. Here we go. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Chomo? Hey, what's up? I'm here with my boyfriend, Bert. We're celebrating because he got a new job today. Oh, yeah. Bert got a job at the Falcon Car Wash. So as a present, I told him I'm going to suck his cock and you're going to humiliate the shit out of him. All right? Yeah. So I want you to tell Bert that he's a fat piece of shit. This fucking guy drinks 64 ounces of Kool-Aid. Can you believe that? This fat piece of shit. He <laughs> smells bad. He fucks dogs. So let him have it, and I'm going to give him some of this sloppy top. Hey, Bert, get over here. Put down the goddamn Kool-Aid. I'm going to suck that cock. <laughs> hey, no, here's the deal. I love cocks in my mouth immediately. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm-hmm. Give me those, cocks. Oh, yeah, Bert. Oh, God. Uh, Bert, you fucking fat fucker. Oh. And want you feed that fucking fat body here some more sugar. Have some more cooling, you piece of shit. <sighs> You're a fat bastard. Lard ass. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna burn you fat fucking bitch. Uh, You're gonna fill oh his mouth with all this fat thumb. You're a fat piece of shit, Bert. You're a fat Jesus fucker. Jesus fucking Christ. Fuck me. Yeah, stick your fucking cock in a fucking Kool-Aid can. Oh. 
Oh. Fucking make it taste like Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid drinking fat bastard. Ah! Ah! You fat oh, yeah. Bert. Oh, I'm gonna take a magic marker right down on a fat piece of smelly shit on his fucking dick. Oh, you fucking stink. You stink like a fat lady. Oh, come on. You fat piece of stinky fucking... Every day, you oh. piece of shit. Oh my Come god. On, Bert. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, Bert. Come on. Swap. Swap. Shoot your fat stinky one. Come on, Bert. You fucker. I had the hardest cock. Mm-hmm. I feel great, man. <laughs> it is, yeah. He screams out, oh yeah, all the time. You don't want to hear him say it, say it, Bert, before you go. Are you serious? Come on, fucker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've never had this much fun with my family. <laughs> all right, man. We'll call me again soon. Okay. Fuck yeah. Let me tell you something. It was awesome. All right, man. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What's amazing? I mean, I can't believe he's able to do this, but like, how does he do it? It's amazing. But what's also <sighs> incredible is that uh, those are all just Bert sounds. Yeah, I know. That definitely double as orgasm, I know. sexual pleasure <laughs> sounds. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, 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 oh. like things you can't even duplicate. He had a real dramatic load, much yeah. like RPC. Very dramatic. Ugh. Come on, Mark. Don't be stingy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it regresses me when I hear it. Oh, I can feel it. Mm. Oh, that's going to be good. <laughs> you know what's so menacing about Ed Asner is that it sounds like he's like, can you go ahead and hand me the stapler? Like he says it. Yeah. It's so mad. I have no problem swallowing. Yeah, like yeah, very direct. Yeah. I yeah, I can make the meeting at seven. Like yeah. he doesn't it the it's off. Mm. Let me see all that gum. Uh, yeah. He doesn't even try and be sexy. No, it's very like just matter of massage effect. your little hole. Massage. It's like put the needle through the Yeah. 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 It's, it's like very. a crocheting tutorial, yeah. Okay, you come. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like this guy has no emotion at, right. at all. It's Let monotone. Me. Yeah. Suck it dry. Yeah, it's yeah. so weird. Yeah. Suck it suck it dry. Yeah. Don't be you stingy. Got that beautiful mouth. You got that beautiful mouth. Yeah, it's really nice. Let me massage. Come on, Mark. Don't be stingy. <laughs> Don't be stingy with that big fucking load you got. <sighs> a lot of people message me like, is there a Come on, don't be stingy. Shirt coming. Of course, don't be stingy, Mark. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Don't be stingy, Mark. Of course. Don't be stingy. Come on, Mark. Ugh. Don't be stingy with that load. <sighs> God. Ooh. Oh yeah. So we're talking about crazy ladies um, and how they're good in bed. And then um, <laughs> we were we were leaving the uh, beach. <laughs> we were leaving the beach parking lot a couple weeks ago, and uh, saw a bumper sticker on the Camaro in front of us. And the tick sticker says, Tengo novia toxica. Yeah. Which means my girlfriend is toxic. Okay. And um, that's, a, that's a message to just to put out there. Yeah. And uh, his girlfriend is in the car. She's the one reaching out of the mirror right now. Or, which, or hand on the mirror. Which I thought was interesting to advertise that. I mean, she wouldn't be upset and by that. Or what I said to proud. you was that she probably bought that sticker. Yeah, right, right, right. She was like, put this on your car. Yeah. Let, let people know. Let them know. Yeah, because <laughs> this girl is a nightmare, but this guy likes it. Likes it. Yeah. And that's the kind of crazy we were talking about. This is <laughs> the kind of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> the kind of girl that goes, let, let other people know that I'm a fucking dangerous person to that be That I'm a mess. Yeah. Let people yeah. know. Yeah. So this is somebody who has like jealousy issues, you know, <laughs> probably tempers, uh, problems. But yeah, like sucks his balls through his asshole. So sure. He's like, yeah. What's neat, though, is that when she's not in the car, I wonder what kind of attention he gets from the other. Well, toxic that's the thing. The ladies. only person that would that would attract is another toxic girl. Yeah. 
Yes. Who's like, I'm, I'm interested. Exactly. Who I'm sees intrigued. that? And she's like, oh, really? <laughs> Your girlfriend's crazy? Your girlfriend's crazy? I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. That is a fucking bat signal right there <laughs> to some crazy puss. I would love bumper stickers. It's like easy going, predictable guy inside marriage material. Yeah. That's the one. Yes. Yeah, stability. Boring. Good for me. Stable. <laughs> yep. Nice and easy, guys. Easy um, listening. Yeah. That's what I dig. Yeah. That's quite. A, I've never seen that before. Never so seen that it was either. Neat. Never seen it either. <laughs> it's really something. Um, What's in the world? You here. started watching. I've been watching. Oh, yeah. Perry Mason, the new one on HBO. Well, my buddy Shay Wiggum's in it. Um, and he's the one that told me it is dark. He told me it was dark. Fuck. It's I didn't like so it. so dark. I can't even tell you. So it, if you grew up in a house with uh, Perry Mason on TV, it's like a. Did your dad watch it? Love Perry yeah, Mason. My stepdad was. So in that Perry was a uh, black and white, you know. Um, what was the name of the actor that played the original Perry Mason? I forget his name. I get him a, confused with Matlock because Matlock was another. Right. It's another Raymond Burr. Raymond Burr. Yeah. Right. Is that his name? Yeah. That show was great. So it's like a, you know, kind of one of the original like detective, detective shows, shows, right? And yeah. it was like, there was always the cross examination. Uh, Cause I think Perry Mason on the show is a lawyer. Wait, isn't that where we get the Yana? Yeah. Or that's from Matlock. I can't remember which. I yeah, think it's Perry it's, Mason. It's that, that kind of, that it's from. those kind of vibe, you know? Yeah. Yana. So the reason HBO is <laughs> doing it, it's, uh, it's that this is supposed to be how he became the guy that you saw on that show. In other words, this is the pre log. This is, yeah, this is the pre log. There the you pre, go. The pre com. Yes. And yeah. so the original one, I mean, it's like the mystery of the, the missing hot dog or whatever. Yeah. And this one, this one is, is like baby's eyes sewn open oh on a bus. Oh my God. I, it's so it literally, fucked. and I tapped out, there is like a dead baby in the first fucking pilot. Yeah, and I was like, five oh, minutes. I'm out, dude. Yeah. I am so out. I cannot watch children or animals getting hurt. I know. I can't. I just, my heart, it's, I can't. But of course, Tom was like, I'm into it. And you loved it. No, I did not love it. Oh, you that. did you turned it off? No, I'm saying that was hard to watch, man. I, I don't like yeah. I don't like animals or babies, you know, children getting hurt or anything either. So like seeing that, it's like, uh, it makes your insides just turn, you know? Mm. Yeah. The actor's phenomenal. I um, love him. Same guy that was on the lead in the Americans. We loved the Americans. Yeah. That was such a great show. He's a fucking great actor. They're man. a married news team as well. Yeah. Uh yeah. Felicity and him. Yeah. He's uh Welsh. That's not but nutty. His, his American Tom, accent's amazing. Do a Welsh accent, mate. Hey, ma. <laughs> Day, yay, good fuck. Like that? <laughs> What's a Welsh accent sound like again? I, I forget. Know. Will you Google it, Nadav, please? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Why did we ask? Okay. There you go. Let's look at it. Let's try and do one right now. Yeah. Because Wales is different than England town. Let's see here. It's a different part of the world, mate. Dot London voice lessons dot. <laughs> it's like specific the... to that accent, sounding accent. Sounds a stretched out Wales accent. There's actually quite a. John, what John, are you doing? What are you doing? John, what are you? John, what are you doing? What are you, you notice doing? that huge glide on John. John. John, what are you doing? Okay, keep going. That's much more common in Wales than it is in other parts of it. Do when? Do when? Just that at the end as well. Do when? Do, do when? when? I sound in doing. Do when? We get in pit and Welsh speakers. Why are you keep skipping along? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Trying to learn. To Moron, what are you fucking doing? God. Why are you skipping along while we're doing it? You're dragging it along. What are you doing? I'm trying to make sure the YouTube algorithm doesn't pick it up because. Do when? I'm just trying to get to the part where he's actually speaking Welsh. Then just Google person speaking Welsh, not like a tutorial. So we can just mimic it. Right. My bad. Give me one second. I was watching this show where it was in England and they were adopting dogs. Like they would match families with the rescue dogs. And these girls were so trashy. Like they were total chavs, you know? Yeah. And I, I don't I say that dog. Got away that. I, 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 like they were so trashy. Mm. I'm like, what part of England town is this? What are they doing on that show? I just kind of so like. 
peeking. It's it I. It's my new favorite. It's on. I forget where. Anyways, it's BBC, and it's rescue dogs, and then they match the rescue dog with the perfect family, mm-hmm. and it's so sweet because it reminds me of how we got Fief, because they say there's a moment when the dog looks in your eyes, and that's when you know they're yours, and that's exactly how I met Fifo. He he put his paws on my chest when I met him the first time, and he looked deep into my eyes, and then I knew we were a match. And it's so true. And I just love watching dogs get matched with their family. And then like the trashy chav girls behind the front desk are like, that was like a perfect one. Yeah. And then like, have you ever seen like, a really big guy with a little small dog? Yeah. I remember having when you got the uh, thief and we brought him home. Mm. Then we called our landlord <laughs> after. <laughs> I, I was like, how do you text. feel about us getting a dog? And he was like, uh. <laughs> he was so sweet. Um. He's like, well, I mean, uh, like, could you leave like a deposit or something? I mean, in case he fucks shit up. We're like, yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll do that. Where is it? What? Where's the Welsh? Ay vey. Nah. <sighs> like, I don't want anyone ever to say that I didn't treat uh, uh, a disabled person with respect. <laughs> we have one running the show, a developmentally disabled person. And you're... And this is respect. Well, yeah, <laughs> we keep them employed. We have a fucking. We're an equal opportunity employer. We've got all kinds, if you know what I mean. Disabled. Yeah, we should do like a special, uh, like a one of those docs where they're like, how how does this disabled guy go to work? And we just follow him. Come in. We have breakfast today. <laughs> I know. Is that what I sound like? <laughs> That's yes. what I hear when you speak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so terrified right now. Ar y fawrth, fydd i'r refferendwm, i benyrfynu os yw Cymru'n heiddi llais cryfach. No, this is actual Welsh. I'm saying like speaking... No, the, the fucking video we had on was the video. That was the video to watch. Do you understand? Yeah. He was actually guiding you through it, saying, say, Joe, <laughs> he was doing it. He was doing it. Don't bring up anything else. Don't. Just take your meds. All right. So. That's a lovely little scruffy dog. Yeah. Outside club, and you think I'm a so I go to my loaded tank man and open the trunk. <laughs> yeah. This should be on the talk. Why is this person not a TikTok I think because it's a cool song. Never scared. Normally we wouldn't be allowed to play this, but I, something tells me that the algorithm <laughs> won't pick it up. Uh, I told you, motherfucker. I ain't never scared. I ain't never scared. I ain't never scared. Oh, nice hip thrust. I ain't never scared. I ain't never scared. <laughs> <laughs> the, whoa, whoa! The beach. Is that a boy or? A I girl? want Bert to do this. This is what I want him to do. <laughs> Tommy, is that a boy or a girl? That's a, sure. that's a that's a that's a lady. Oh. Yeah, that's a lady. <laughs> so you almost lost your uh, your tox. You know that? What? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, I know. The tox but it w- almost got shut down. Yeah, but it was just a ploy from Trumpy to get them to sell to the Americans. It was it was a pushed it was a, a pressure tactic uh, um, to get the Chinese to sell it. You know there's a uh uh I had a lot of people by the way DMing me and email me emailing me to, to check if I'm okay emotionally. Check, yeah. Well, you weren't. <laughs> I weren't I, wa- I weren't okay. I wasn't okay, but I was prepared to use the VPN, is that what that is, to get around I was yeah. prepared already. I had a contingency uh, plan. Is Express that VPN. Or? You can log yeah. in anywhere. <laughs> Code your mom's house to check out. Yeah, I uh, I was planning on doing it through VPN. I was serious because I can't give up my talks. Yeah. It's become part of who I am. It's the fabric of my life. I live. I love it. Yeah. I take Great. a shit in the morning and I curate. That's my first round. And then at night I put the kids down. And I do my second round. Mm. New, uh, <laughs> new gubernatorial candidate running. I don't know if you've seen him yet. gubernatorial. Zee Heil, Seattle Komi Nazi fascist. Zee Heil, Seattle Consul and Mayor, are fascist and clown. Our crazy Nazi Gestapo garbage rats from Animal Farm. Is this my I dad? I'm Alex Zimmerman. Speak to you. Seattle Emerald degenerate super smart freaking idiot with Nazi socialist, Democrat, and anti-Semite principle. 
He does have that kind of Hungo accent going. Yeah, but Zimmerman, this is not a Hungarian name. Clean, dirty, German. stupid council chamber from this clown, criminal, and killer. This cannot go on forever. Stand up, Seattle. Stand up, America. <laughs> we the people need to elect intelligent, civilized businessmen who can bring Seattle back to normal life. Seattle. We need to oh, stop Russian. Nazi socialist democrat mafia with progressive Gestapo principle which <laughs> have brought Seattle to number one fascist city in America <laughs> in total collapse. Only pure idiot don't understand so one party system is always fascist. <laughs> this dude is actually saying a progressive fascist Yes. <laughs> yeah. Bring Seattle to fascism again. Yeah, to the number one fascist city. We need to clean our government from dirty garbage rats who drink from fat Catholic. Stand up, Seattle. Stand up, America. It's time for real change. <laughs> real change. He's got my vote. Nazi change. <laughs> Nazi change. <laughs> One leader supreme. Holy shit. Yep. H how, where did that come from? Yeah, this is great. It just got sent in. Uh, it, and it kind of worked in, in a lot of different... Uh, is this on public access? It looks like it. I mean, yeah, like it look. I I, th I think he just put it on YouTube, right, Zolo? Yeah. Yeah, it's just on YouTube. And this dude, this dude's real though. Mm-hmm. Is he posting more videos? Um, I don't think. I think he just had like three videos, right? And I think he posted a video from the last time he ran. Oh. So oh. it's like he's consistently, you know, just trying to make, trying to be the change that he wants to see. <laughs> and he's always pushing his Nazi agenda. It's a theme. <laughs> He's like, let's make Seattle the great Nazi city it can be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. One leader telling you what to do. I don't like it. That was fucking hot. I remember. Um, yeah. Ouch. Would you sign up for that? No. You think that would hurt? A lot on your meow. That's a slingshot to the meow. Yeah. Goodness. But she seemed to handle it really well. Uh, I don't like it. But you think that she did well with it, though? <laughs> yeah. But maybe she's got protection like a cub there or something. I don't know. Hmm. I would do it with a cup. That was terrible, Tom. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> that was in my folder. I didn't, you know, I didn't prep the folder. I just see it. It's pretty exciting. Best Nazi leader in Seattle. Be this. Be that guy's Russian. The Nazi you can be. Be the Nazi. He's fully sick heiled. Ah. <laughs> uh. 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 <laughs> this dude is uh he just knocked all this dandruff out of his hair a lot i know or this is good. he doesn't look well though <laughs> like i'm just seeing him look up it's not a good look what's it say on the change on the chain sorry dry bar unite dry bar <laughs> dry bar king my dandruff dry, and hair dry dab hot and dry i'm gonna fucking throw up Jeez. dry dab king uh, what oh, what is my wrong God. with this guy? Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> what a dipshit. <laughs> He's smoking his dandruff. Bam! Take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh! He's not good. Man, take it easy. He's not, he's not doing well. Take it easy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> ah, take it easy. <laughs> take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on a minute. Yeah. Here's the deal. What? What's a little off-putting about this guy is that he's not as pure as a cool guy. The lighting's good. The mm. angling is good. It's not great. But it's better than a cool guy vid. Mm -mm. No, well, no, <laughs> no. What what's the background? It's just a black. Yeah, it's just. I mean, there's worse backgrounds, but he's not. It, you make it sound like he's holding it together. I mean, <laughs> I think the craziest <laughs> thing is that he actually has dry dab king on a chain, and he's like, "I'm gonna smoke some dandruff. That's why I'm the dry dab king. <laughs> 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 I take my dry scalp and I smoke it all the time." 
It's fucking alarming. Look Ooh. at his face. Ugh. I mean, that can't harm you too much. It hits much. different, I guess. It does. <laughs> Bam! Take it easy. <laughs> he's all fucked up. Oh. What do you think he's mixing the dandruff with? I don't know, man. I don't know. Did you feel like, by the way, that, that talks were just going to go away? No. You didn't? No, here's why. When something is that big and profitable, it doesn't it just doesn't disappear. Just disappear. Yeah. Somebody's going to figure out a way to make money off of it. Mm -hmm. So that's that's all it is. I, I was not panicked. I, I had already thought of, like I said, a contingency plan. All I, right, I, was, I had a plan B. Good. I would have found a way. Oh, always. Yeah. There's always a way to get your talks. Always a way. There's always a way. Okay. Well, um, let's uh, let's take a quick break and we'll yeah. be back with our guest. Let's talk about my favorite subject, brushing our teeth. I love brushing my teeth. Mm -hmm. I also floss daily. But did you know that 75% of us use old worn out bristles that Disgusting. are ineffective? Disgusting. And even more people forget to floss daily. Not us. Because we use Quip. Starting at just $25 a month, you can use Quip. It makes it easy by delivering all the oral care essentials you need to brush and floss better. Uh, the Sonic Toothbrush, the Quip Electric Toothbrush, has sonic vibrations timed with 30-second pulses to guide a dentist-recommended two-minute routine. And there's even a size-down version designed for children. Mm. Love it. I love their dental floss. They I, they just give us the refill every month for just $5 each. And it just shows up. You don't have to it remember just, to get it. That's the best part. So here's the deal. And if you go to getquip.com slash mom right now, you'll get your first refill for free. That's your first refill free at getquip.com slash mom spelled get q u i p dot com slash mom quip the good habits company. You know, as we slowly adjust to a new normal, we still need to be smart about how we do business. And luckily there's stamps.com to make things easier. Gene, how long have we used stamps.com? We have been using stamps for uh, close to 10 years. And why is 10 that? 10 years why because do we love these guys have it down. You can print official US postage right from your computer and printer. You don't have to leave the home. And this was before there was any reason to be uh, wary of leaving your home. You could just stay home yep. and print and you save money. You don't have to rent one of those expensive postage meters. You just print that postage. Uh, they have the digital scale that calculates it exactly for you. There's no guessing. Slap it on a package. Boom. Leave it for the mail carrier. You're ready to go. And there's great discounts. You get uh, like five cents off every stamp. And don't forget, now they have UPS. Incredible. So Incredible. right now, our listeners get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and the digital scale without any long-term commitment. Just go to stamps.com. Click on the, the microphone, microphone at the top, top of the homepage and type in mom. mom. That's stamps.com. Stamps enter, enter the mom. code word mom. <laughs> and we're back. Back, Chomos, uh, joining us once again back on the show. We love him here. He's absolutely hilarious. Put your hands together for Johnny Pemberton. Oi, oi, hey. A.K.A. J J to P. Reggae.com. J to P? J to P. J P. Oh, J to P. I've actually never heard that before. I've heard a lot of nicknames, but never J to P. J, like wow. Jodeci? J to P? For Pemby. Pemby's good. That's Pemby's good. a great one. Um, Pems. My, my man, Pemby's in the house. Yeah. Pemby's what? here. I guess uh, it's a British thing. If you have if your name is Pemberton in England, you'll never be called by your first name. It's always oh, I'm Pemby. You know who Pemby is to oh. me? Yeah. Pemby, you're um, you're a bike messenger <laughs> who has the best weed. And you go to the studio when all like the hip hop guys that like, get together <gasps> yeah. to record, oh, and they're totally. like, "Pemby's here." Everyone gets excited, and you come out, and everyone thinks you're delivering food, and you just got this huge assortment yeah, do, of do all your the English different. accent. Like, oh, oh, Pemby's here. Yeah. Oh, what's up now? Pemby's on right here. Yeah. I've got your weed. You've got everything you need right here. Sack it up, blow it out. You know what Bert said? <laughs> Bert said he wants. Bert said he wants a British guy that goes with him everywhere named Lyle, uh -huh. who every time he gets oh, himself into cool. trouble. Like he says something like offensive. Lyle yeah. goes, Oh don't. Hey, oh don't a sec. Give him a sec. He's got a point. He's got a <laughs> point. And he just wants that guy. Is he like a really big guy too? Doesn't have to be, but I mean it could be. I feel like it's gotta be like a guy who's so big that he doesn't move a lot. Yeah, that's so what just I like, like. Oh don't that here. Hear him out. The man's got a point here. Yeah, that's right. He's just trying to get his car out of here and you're parked in front of him now. Yep. Ain't that just a way to move it out of the way now? 
There you go. That's really good. <laughs> it's great. Oh, that's what he wants. Lyle. Is that Lyle? Yeah. Vinny that jo- guy? Oh yeah, Vinny Jones. I used to have a fascination as like in high school of, of meeting a guy. I think of the name I thought this guy was, but he would show up when I hated being in math class. <clears throat> like a train would drive through the building, like it would destroy the the building. It was, the name of the train was called Wreck House. And a guy in a three-piece suit would come out named Martin, and he'd have like guns, like two handguns, oh. and he'd be like, Johnny, it's time to go. I'd be like, I gotta go, guys. I gotta get on this train and leave math class with a guy in a three-piece suit. With math class. Is anything worse than math class? No. For me, no. Math class was the worst. That was yeah. my worst subject by far. You know what the, the worst was? Was when I resigned to being stupid. Yeah. Like when I just go, oh, I'm stupid. I'll never get this. Yeah. So that I would go into the class and just the whole goal of the class was get to it without making a big deal of how stupid yeah. I am. Yeah. Uh, because I just was like, oh, I'm just meant to fail this class. Mm -hmm. And so then sometimes, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then they'd be like, Tom, can you finish this? And I would just be like, (laughs) "I no. And then he would start doing, he would back down into the levels of math that you should know to get I to this, it, right? Yeah. So like, yeah. he'd be Reduce like, well, it down for you. well, he would be like, you know, you can't solve this algebra problem. Okay, well, like, let's let's simplify this. Let's go to like long division. I'd be like, let's not, I don't, I don't know that either. Is this Florida? Like, yeah. Is this a Catholic school or is it public school? It's a, it's a, like a Episcopal affiliated Ooh, Episcopal. school. I, yeah. I hated that too when they would try to explain things to you. Like, well, see, Tom, you have to balance the equation. Yeah. Because there's X minus two here. You got to do X plus two to cancel it out. And, you're and like, then you'd be I like, you even... know what the X is here. And I'd be like, no, I don't. <laughs> no fucking idea. And then he would just be like, you know how to add. And I'd be like, okay, <laughs> we can add. Yeah. Do you want me to add? It's so, like, no, we're trying to do algebra. I was like, yeah, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> and I would, I would stop trying. I would be like, mm-hmm. just, it's just like speaking Cantonese, right? It's just why? Like, just have someone else do it. I'm not going to do it. I had a, uh, a nun as a geometry teacher in high school. Mm-hmm. It was probably like junior year. She was a big lady, big Irish lady. Um, she, used to, she grew up working at a bar. So she was like tough as shit, right? It was a geometry test, and I asked her a question. It's super quiet. I asked her this question during the test. And she, um, she lived very politely listened to my question that I thought was a legitimate question. Then she uh, slowly <laughs> walks up to the front of the room and hits her head on the board three times, like, doom, doom, <laughs> doom. And then slowly walks back to me and with like a red face, like kind of answers my question because it was that fucking stupid of a question i guess she was so frustrated that i had learned that little that i'd ask this question like everyone in the whole class is looking like what the fuck did he just say to her to make her go smash her head against the fucking that whiteboard cannot be an okay teaching tactic in I mean, any school <laughs> i'll never forget it yeah i'll never forget that she was she was the best though she was actually a great teacher and super friendly and we're like you know as far as a nun goes pretty cool yeah they're, they get, but they get so angry. It's true. Nuns are so crankers, and mm. it's probably because. Wait, why do you think it is? Their husband's not around. No, their husband you know is I mean? around. He's all around. He's all. He's, <laughs> he's everywhere. everywhere. He's all over. He's, he's right there. He's <laughs> omnipresent. Yeah. 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 They're do you think cunts. that, like, I mean, this might be offensive to some people, but do you think when nuns masturbate that they scream, "Oh God"? They're to not him? allowed to. You, you can You can only have a nocturnal. Dream. If you if you have a nocturnal emission, as they're called, mm-hmm. that's okay. But you're, you can't. Naturally. But let's say they do. Well, I mean, they do. To so. JC, to the hot Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. You think have they you do? Seen, well, because in our classrooms in high school, Jesus was hot as fuck. Mm-hmm. He was like the young. Could you Google hot Jesus, please? Because you went to Catholic school. I did. Yeah, yeah. all girls, and um, we all loved hot Jesus. He's the one with the blue eyes. Yeah. Long hair. Oh, hot Jesus is hot. Yeah, he's yeah, hot. hot as fuck, dude. Did you yeah. have a hot priest at all ever? Yeah, Father What a Waste. Okay. Because so my yeah. wife went to Catholic school and there was a hot priest. And Always. So like, and then there's like one hot male teacher, <laughs> mm-hmm. but he's married, so he's off limits. Right. And we, yeah, everyone obsessed about we him. We had a hot geometry teacher who was a cheerleader for the Dolphins. Oh what? Like, How is that possible? Yeah. Well, <laughs> that she, seems like illegal. You well, can't she, be was, a, she was a cheerleader for the Dolphins. Okay. So and she then, turned 21 or something uh, yeah. like that. <laughs> and and she was fucking smoking. And she was older by the time like yeah. we, by the time she was our teacher, um, you know, I'm whatever, I'm 15, 16, and she's probably early 40s. So she was a cheerleader yeah. 15 years she prior. She aged into it pretty good. But uh, she would have 
a dozen donuts every morning. She would eat them. Uh, and they and she was oh, she wouldn't a dozen donuts. Yeah, and by she herself. Was, she was skinny, like wow. like really like not an ounce of fat on her. Yeah, that's what that means, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Really? We would always be like, how? And she was just like, I have this crazy metabolism. Uh. And we we're like, okay. She would wolf down uh, a dozen donuts, and uh, she died of an aneurysm. <laughs> Wait a second here. Seriously. The person who ate 12 donuts every day? Yeah. yeah. Died of an aneurysm? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Out of nowhere. Like, you know, obviously like a... Yeah. A, yeah. She yeah. was bulimic. Totally. I don't know if she was Damn. bulimic. Babe, that's what they do. Bulimics binge and purge. They eat like a gallon of ice cream, a dozen donuts, and then they this ralph it up and Every day at breakfast like, in the classroom, she would just sit there and eat them and finish I believe them. And then why she like, go to the bathroom That's right probably now. why she had an aneurysm too because it's super hard in your body, right? To barf all the time? I For think it sure. is, yeah. Mm. Would you rather barf every day or have diarrhea all day? Well, like, I already do have diarrhea pretty much every day, so. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Oh, Not yeah, diarrhea, yeah, yeah. But I have like, What do you, you know, call it? What's the term um, you said? Technically what it is? No, no, no. When you said when your bowels are touched, you, you said like, you told us a story. Oh, that, about like, per- how peristalsis stops? Yeah, you said that, I said something about what happens, you said, when your bowels are touched, your body... They go to sleep? Yeah, is that what it is? is well, it, that's not the technical term, I guess, but the peristaltic motion of your bowel stops because it thinks it's in danger. Oh, wow. So it's like, uh, you, know how you, you know how when you're traveling, a lot of times you get constipated? Mm-hmm. Yes. It's because your body's doing that because it thinks, it's like, what's going on here? This is weird. I'm just going to shut everything down because we don't feel comfortable. Right. I think it's what it is. Because we got up at sense. four this morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> flew across the country. Yeah, your uh, uh, road ass is a Slept real thing. Two like, hours. There's like a 48 hour adjustment period. Where like, I got up at four. I got on a 6 a.m. flight. Mm-hmm. I drank six coffees. Oh, I landed. God. You know, and then like you, <laughs> then it's like five in the evening. You're like, I think I have to take my first shit, and it's like a just a fucking mess. So mm-hmm. I have the opposite. I some of my airplane bathroom shits are like, wow, that was really good. Yeah, because oh. my body at that level of constipation is like a, it's a good. It's crazy how when wow. I turned 40, I was like, oh, I'm going to shit on flights all the time now. <laughs> like before then, I would just be like, well, I'll wait till I land. Uh, I can't. I shit before all I the get time on now. The I board plane. a plane. Yeah. And I'm like, I got to take a shit. And I just. And you just do it with no. And by the way, people now know you like, hey, Tom Segura is taking a shit in first class. Mm-hmm. You, you get up and everyone knows what you're doing. You're gone. And it doesn't bother you. It can't be a pee. What? Couldn't it, be, couldn't it be a piss? But not like a five or ten minute. But he takes long dumps. This is not a quick... If someone's thing. counting how long you're in the bathroom... I do. I do. Every time I'm on the plane and I'm like, I wonder what they're going to do, a one or a two. And I clock it. And I'm like, oh, that guy's been in there for a long time. I'm not going to go in until... A few minutes have passed. Yeah. Do you get a seat by the bathroom so you can keep tabs? I don't sit by the bathroom, but I eyeball <laughs> and I'll be like, that nasty motherfucker. Do you Especially ever, after, uh, nasty. after meal times, because I'll gauge after meal times... Everyone has to go after. Yeah, it's, so it's human. It's like yeah. human function. Either a one by or the two, way, but should, I judge the twos. I'll, I don't like it. I'll send you oh a, a recording next time of how long she takes to take a dump. It's a 25 minute ordeal. <laughs> That's Damn. because I gave myself diarrhea last week. I had Mexican food. It. I had Mexican food for lunch and then Korean food for dinner, and I ate half the jar of kimchi. Bad idea. I've done that. Well, you know it's going to happen. You guys, tips on how to relieve gas. <laughs> Um, I've had gas problems for years. I've Clearly. I've every single pill. I've done everything. Mm. And then I discovered one pose. And that pose has saved my life. Um, this video may be gross. You're going to hear farts. <laughs> but so rewarding. It's so rewarding. Can you send me the loaded. link for this? Thanks. I'm gassy <laughs> all the time. I try to spread my life a little bit, put my yeah, I've done that. butt in the air and my chest to the floor. Yeah, I've done I this. I feel like this has yeah. the yeah, most easiest passage for the gas to get out. So that's what you're doing in the airplane bathroom? As you can see, I'm already relieving gas. <laughs> it's like a... It is amazing. It just all comes out. And this is something I've suffered for years about yeah. this isn't a funny or sexy video this is a Disagree. disgusting fart video to this has got to be behind a paywall who right have stomach <laughs> pain lately <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> my god it's a lot that's of like fart. a fucking plumber over there <laughs> oh jesus so much skinnier my stomach feels good i feel so less bloated yeah. and then i do one more big one <laughs> 
the best part is like, don't put the clothes away or anything. Don't close those. <laughs> yeah. Um, just you know, just how how trashy can this place look? <laughs> gas somewhere. Uh oh. Yeah. Why why not at least <laughs> set up the video to to look decent? Yeah. Just look like halfway. Do, do a little mise en scène a little bit. A little bit. Just close the doors. Close the cabinet doors. <laughs> and just you know what? You don't even have to put that clothes away. Just move it out of frame. Yeah, just push just it out of frame. Push it away. Yeah. And then the filthy rug, like there's holes in it and stuff. That's what yeah. amazes me it's now filthy. about all the COVID stuff is you see people <laughs> on camera like this is an expert. This person has literally no awareness of where they are. Yeah. Like, do you see where you are? All you have to do is maybe put the camera on some books. Yeah. 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 Just what you think. So it's not like you're looking down like like one of those TikToks and the guy like, like ah, nah, nah. <laughs> this is a worldwide expert. He's like, well, we think that maybe <laughs> that there could be a bit more uh, time we want to spend. <laughs> yeah, it's unbelievable. You see yeah, a fucking it's... fan spinning. You're the show? world leader in this thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God. <laughs> Now, there is a pose she is forgetting, and yeah. this is actually personal. Uh, lay on your left side. Well, I think, by the way, that's is, real. Is lay that on your left, left side. side's real for 100% sure? 100% real. But is the ass in the air thing? I feel like that's extending no, that, your. That's not real. That didn't seem like. I mean, I think you'd want to. That would push it into my up, rib cage. You know, as opposed to stretch. That would out. curl. That would, that I mean, would make I it and go in my stomach. But if it works, it works, right? It works for her that moment. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it did, it did work for her. Now, interesting choice to wear tight underwear and no pants during this. That could have gone really wrong. Could have gone King Ass Ripper style. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for it to happen. I thought this was gonna, uh, like a this was a special pause now. Yeah. It's about to continue and she's going to just fucking shit everywhere, <laughs> maybe. Like um, just blast out. Do you see uh, that there might be a new governor of Seattle? No. Yeah. Oh. He's pretty cool. We, we, uh, we just saw one of his uh, videos. Dear Kyle, Seattle call me Nazi fascist. Zeke Heil, Seattle Consul and Mayor, mm. are fascist and clown, are crazy. I am Alex Zimmerman, speak to you, Seattle Emerald degenerate, super smart freaking idiot, with Nazi socialist, Democrat, and anti Semite principle. <laughs> oh. Is this, is this, is this a satire? I no. don't think so. No. But no. Why is he doing the double? Is that a thing? The double? The double? I think it just shows you that he really means it, you yeah. know? So. Well, and also it's a 2020 remix. Like, we've already done one Sieg Heil. Maybe it's time to switch it up. Oh, yeah, because we're in the new millennia. It's time to have double Sieg Heil. Double Sieg Heil. <laughs> Clint Dory's stupid consul chamber from this clown, criminal, and killer. This cannot go on forever. Stand up, Seattle. Stand up, America. <laughs> wow. Just putting it out there. Um... Let's see. Uh, oh, he doesn't Jesus. have his website, but he's uh, he's just got like a he's got really cool ideas. We need to stop Nazi socialist Democrat mafia with progressive Gestapo principle, which oh. have brought Seattle to number one fascist city in America in total collapse. <laughs> Only pure idiot don't understand. So one party system is always fascist. I can't understand what he's saying. Well, it's basically it it's probably above your pay grade, but he's saying that he's a progressive Gestapo. Oh, is that what he's saying? So he's saying that like the other Gestapo is bad? Right, but he's forward-thinking Gestapo. Oh, because he sounds like he said he wants to take down the Gestapo. It kind of sounds like, I, I was a little confused too because he was like, let's do away with this fascism, but then he's like, let... Well, wait a minute. Uh, I thought I was voting for, uh, what I heard was anti-Semitic, good, and then uh, Nazi stuff, good. I, I don't know. I thought he was... He seems like he's aggressing, well, like, we must stop the anti-Semitics. Yeah, they are the bad ones. Hmm. Hmm. Well, he does contradict himself in his own message. Yeah. Some of these old guys like this, they get the, they, their satire runs afoul. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. You know what I mean? He's like, like he's trying to 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 uh, poke fun at the uh, yeah the Nazi message. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. It is Seattle. We need to clean our government from dirty garbage rats who drink from fat Catholic. Stand up, Seattle. Stand up, America. It's time for real change. Did hmm. he say drink from fecund toilet? <laughs> <laughs> that was like he said, we must clean the dirty rats who drink from the yes, fat cunt toilet. <laughs> I thought he said, did he say fat cunt toilet? <laughs> Crazy Nazi Gestapo garbage rats. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Gestapo <laughs> rats. Dirty garbage rats. But he definitely started with huh. Dear Kyle. <laughs> and that's usually <laughs> not uh, Yeah. <laughs> something right. that a serious candidate leads with. You gotta vote for him to find out what's yeah, going on. He's that's like, the key. 
He's like, oh, you thought it was parody? <laughs> you must, right, right. To find out the truth, you must cast the vote. Yeah. Anyways, uh, good luck. Um, he Alex? does look like a villain. He looks like he could be an actor. He's very looks handsome. like Peter Stormare, you know? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, he's a really interesting guy. Um, but, he's, but his place, house smells great. Yes. Yes. I bet he does have a nice house. And I believe he's run before, so maybe... Uh, Second or third time's a charm, you know? Maybe. Nazi propaganda. ding a ling do do poop It smells bad. We must get rid of all the poo that's here for flushing down all the fat cats and the rats that suck on their titties. <laughs> <laughs> we must get rid of these fat cats sucking on the tits of rats and poop on toilets. They're blowing with diarrhea outside my butt. For you are doing double the best way to find it is to do voting for me. It's just cheat not to do poo yeah. I took poop what my penis and it's too large for a hole to do poop what the dick of my hole. These are rats. <laughs> <laughs> that is That was That's perfect. almost exactly yeah. what I heard him <laughs> say. <laughs> words, words, poop shit, punt, fun. The cunt truth balls. is that like I don't actually know what he really said. <laughs> yeah, I can't I tell. I saw a Nazi salute. I heard Gestapo. So did I. But I couldn't tell if he was running for it or against it. I just heard a lot of nouns. Yeah. A lot of nouns. <laughs> yeah. House, fun shit, rats, bad. House, house fucker, Nazi poop spray, guy, boy, gay town. You have truck filled with shit house, piss knife. Piss knife for life, baby. You know these flushers. Swimming in the pool of rats. <laughs> these flushers. So your boy, by the way, because uh, when we were when your first time you were with us, right? We did, um, you know. Don't do it. It's bad. Take your Ubers. Mm -hmm. um, Tony oh. Johns. This, right. is, this, was, this was the update from a few weeks ago. Oh really? I just want to say, dead ass. <laughs> the reason why I'm wearing this fucking yellow fucking weird thing <laughs> is my ass is gonna be doing community service for the state of Utah. <laughs> Woo! I got a DUI, baby. <laughs> How proud of it. <laughs> oh, baby. Anyways, I just want to say, if you guys see me up on the freeway picking up trash and all this bullshit, <laughs> feel free to honk your horn. You know, feel free to say, hey, Tony Jones, ladies man, out the window, and I'll wave back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you see me out there picking up the trash, baby. Up out of here. This trash up. <laughs> I get a, a DUI, baby. Ooh, this trash up out of here. baby. That's the best thing he does. Is the, it's so uh, great. I watched a video of him in bed from some time. He was talking about he had a quickie. Uh-huh. Isn't that uh, one? He's like, yes. I just came from a quickie and I got a spray tan. Ooh. <laughs> Ah, baby, we up out of here. I got sprayed down quickie style. <laughs> he, uh, yeah. I he love that his original message, though, like uh, the way that he was yeah. discovered. It's always it was a like, party. But it was a party, but he was like, take you, like, yeah. drink responsibly. And, and now he's like, I got a DUI. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and you know what's neat is that he's still flashing. Oh, the, the, the oh, yeah. big old watch. watch. Yeah. So he's wearing Take the yellow. Your mm. He's wearing the yellow, but he's still flashing. Don't drink and drive. Don't do it. It's bad. I got a DUI, baby. <laughs> I, I was in the back of an Uber. I got a DUI, even though I was in an Uber. I tried to take over. Woo! I was doing the driving. This copper cop pulled me over. We up out of here. And I told the Uber driver, keep on drinking and driving. <laughs> oh, ladies. I smoke crack. Dude. Yeah, he got... He's Tommy, a crackhead. Tommy, uh, I think he likes meth. Well, he's <laughs> he's a speed of some sort, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got those those meth bones. Stimulant. Yeah. yeah. Big on the stimulants. But he God. looks better in this video. His skin uh, the tone... The filter is heavily, heavily oh. on this video. Okay. Hey, yeah, because we, we saw a Tommy update that was real bad. Yeah. Yeah, he, uh, looks, like, he looks like he's sick. Like he's, uh, got, like, he's, like he's got AIDS or something, you know? 
I'll show you. <laughs> I'm just trying to find the positive for this him. I want him one. to be Yo, okay. My name's Tony yeah. motherfucking John's fucking oh, ladies, Tony. man. Yeah, I'm currently a... in a sticky situation. You know, I got no fucking money. I got no motherfucking wheels. Like, yeah. I don't got a license. That's the best is this shit. The yeah. preening. The, yeah. uh, the preening. What do you call that shit? When it's like Peacocking. doing it in the moment. Yeah. Like, yeah. Doing it in the moment. This was like, a bad They don't know me for me at all. I got some... Nice ass fucking teeth. I got some nice motherfucking attributes. You know, mm -hmm. nobody wants to hire me. Everybody thinks I'm a motherfucking criminal, which I'm not. I was wrongfully accused, and I don't have a criminal fucking record. Hmm. Hmm. Have you and seen so anyways, some? Anyways, I'm I'm uh, I'm doing this. Go ahead. Some of the pics he posted on Twitter. If you look on his Twitter, he's got some pictures that I can't figure out what they are <laughs> because it's him with really long hair and looking really young. Oh. And I don't know. It's also staying next to a guy who looks like he is. Uh, I really don't understand what it is. It's like something almost like some Andrew WK shit where I feel like there, there you go. Look at that oh, shit. Yeah. Look at oh, yeah. Look at this underneath yes. there. Him staying next to that guy. What the fuck is going on there? Honestly. Oh, that's him, right? That's him on the right. But look how long that hair is. Is that just a really old picture or something? It must yes. be. Like, that's really freaked me out a little that's bit. That's freaky. Like, what is it, what does it there? say in the caption? It's hashtag just, bros for life. Hashtag coronavirus truth. What? Huh. Yeah. It's the stuff. And there's a couple pictures of him with his super long hair. There's one, if, if you scroll down, there's the next one. If you wearing like a basketball jersey um, or some shit. That's the thing. Oh, what the fuck is that? Okay. Tony Johns is complicated, you guys. Like that to me feels like psyops or some sort of weird like. He's doing like an art project, like he's Andy Warhol, yeah, and, we're, yeah. and we're the ones who are yeah. laughing, but he's like, you know. He's in it. That is, you guys should be pulling that stuff more. I know. Coming right up. Because yeah. doesn't, like, doesn't that sort of throw off everything? Because you're like, what is that? Why would he be posting these weird pictures of him <sighs> looking kind of like a little girl? But, but the thing is, is that just when That's you strange. think you know Tony yeah. Johns, he metamorphosizes exactly. and changes, right? Don't, don't drink and drive. It's bad. Mm -hmm. Cut to I have a DUI. Did you see the uh, the clip of the he guy changes. who ate the wasp's nest? Oh my god! No, I want to though. You want to? I'm into wasps. Oh, you You're are? Into oh, then you'll really enjoy this. Huh. That's a pretty small one. You want it, him, bitch? <laughs> Is that who you really want it? You sure about that? There he is, bitch. <laughs> there he is. Hmm. Holy shit. So this way he lets her <laughs> he lets her know that she ch chose the wrong guy. <laughs> Cuz that's the guy those wasps represent that guy. The other guy. <laughs> yeah. But he yeah. ate him. Wow. Uh-huh. It's poor wasps. I know. I know. Well, she sh he showed well, her. Well, you wanted him, bitch. Dun, 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 dun. I was trying to like, like, is that a fucking Black Sabbath song? I don't know what that is. Dun, 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 dun. I feel like Fat Smoker would respect the shit out of this guy. Yes. Dun, 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 this does dun. have Fed Smoker vibes. It definitely mm -hmm. does. And his eyes, I'm telling you. It's my nice. man has consumed something before something. this video. Yeah. yeah. It's like 9 a.m. Like, too, like, somewhere like, in Orlando. You wanted, bitch? <laughs> huh? Is that you wanted? Like his eyes are completely Yeah, what open. was the lead up to this where he's like, I'll show I you, mean, Cheryl. Just. You wanted him, bitch? Yeah. Like that's, he's so red. Yeah. 9 a.m. Orlando, is, Florida. <laughs> That's a Superman American flag logo. It's really cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> he thinks it looks like Josh Brolin. Right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Maybe it is Josh. <laughs> oh my God. You're right. The Josh. Superman American flag hat is already aggressive. It's a little much. Mm. And you're right. It looks like the light of morning. The light of morning. What the hell? You is know that? what I mean? Like it's morning. It looks morning. Oh yeah. It feels like that Florida morning. <laughs> Those yeah. wasps are still kind of kind of mellow. Mm. God. Hmm. All right. That's yeah. got to taste bad too, because they've got a bunch of chemicals in them, probably that <laughs> taste like, you know, like pheromones and shit. 
Right, because wasps don't make honey the way tasty bees do. <laughs> no. so they just like... That's got to taste horrible. Yeah, yeah. it's got to taste like chemicals, like <laughs> drinking like bathroom chemicals. <laughs> Pure chems. And like aren't wasps nests made out of like a clay that they regurgitate? Like don't well, they, that, those they are, spit? Uh, those are European paper wasps right oh. there. <laughs> okay. I got a big old colony under my garage and they stay there. Oh yeah, because they keep the larva off the weed plants. So, oh yeah. wait, you know that for sure? Yeah, for real. Because uh, one time I remember a long time ago, um, there was a spider in our backyard that had made uh, a huge web, and I just put a picture on Twitter. I was like, "Hey, what's up with this? Is this going to kill yeah. the family?" And you immediately <laughs> responded with like the type of spider, and I was like, oh, what "The really? fuck? Yeah." I wonder what it You're must. Like it's harmless. Something. Don't worry. It's this type of spider. I was, and you did it like immediately. Well, I don't know that much, but I do know a couple spiders. Hmm. I just am like a big spider. I'm a big spider defender because mm-hmm. I think it's like people hate spiders. They blame them for all kinds of stuff. And yeah. actually, it's like, you know, they're good for the whole ecosystem. They're right? great. Yeah, they're great. They're also. Uh, I always think about people like want spiders out of their house, but like, I'm not using that space. Yeah, that's true. They're just like <clears throat> but waters. It, but in California, there's the brown recluse and the not black really. widow, right? Like they're brown rare. recluse. People think there's a brown recluse. It's usually a false recluse, and even then. Mm. There's a reason it's called a recluse because it never comes out. The Mm. chance of you getting bit by a brown recluse in California is almost zero. Oh, and what about the black widow? Black widow, again, it's like pretty rare to get bitten by a black widow. To get bitten. And even then, to get bitten and have it hurt you. And it makes sense to clear out like, you know, the kid's playroom. You don't want to have a bunch of black widows in there. Yeah. (laughs) But the chances are the black widows only go places that aren't being really used so yeah. it's like yeah. that's why people use like they're clearing out like brush yeah like a wood yeah. pile it's yeah. like i'm gonna stick my hand where i can't see that's yeah. always oh, the yeah. thing as long as you don't stick your hand where you can't see you probably won't get bitten mm-hmm. the other thing about a lot of spiders is uh people like people blame a lot of staph infections on brown recluse bites yeah when actually it's like you just got a cut and you're dirty dog yeah. okay <laughs> yeah even doctors would be like yeah this was definitely a spider bite it's like, no, you have a fucking infection. They're not like brown recluse all over the place, just biting people everywhere. Interesting. Staph infection. Yeah. yeah. Or some kind God. of infection that got in and they blame it on a brown recluse because they have a necrotic infection. Bite. Yeah. I, I know yeah. someone who got bit by a brown recluse um, a while ago. Really? And it was uh, rec- over time. Rec- recluse, recluse. You can say that. You can say either one. Re- Recluse. I think recluse is probably the weird way to recluse. say it. I say recluse. I say recluse. Recluse. But it over recluse. time the the uh, the bite started to just you could see the the skin dying. You know. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah. It's like one of the grossest things. It's, I think it's the grossest thing. I stopped looking that up years ago because it's yeah. fucking nasty. It's gnarly. Would yeah. you rather get bitten by a brown recluse or Ooh. eat a wasp's nest? Ooh, that's a good one actually. How much do I have? If I get bitten by the brown recluse, do I have like immediate emergency services available? Yeah. 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 I'll take the brown recluse bite. What about the black widow? Black widow, I've actually had to, had got an argument with my wife about um, get actually actually getting bit on purpose. <laughs> what? I thought it'd be cool to get bitten by it because the chances of you of actually hurting you are almost non existent. Why is that? Because you're an adult and you have like a, a nervous system that's intact. It's not, it's like a, it's not a very super strong neurotoxin. So, if you got bit, it would basically just having like a bad acid trip. And I thought it would be really? cool oh. to get bit by a black uh, a black widow. But she's like, just, you know, you can't do that. <laughs> because so you were trying to like actually set it up. Yeah, I thought it would be kind of cool. But I Where think were you going to get the black widow? I'd find one. But also I think I kind of talk myself out of it because it seems like it's a bad idea. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because you're like rolling the dice there. Yeah. That you could actually die? Or, or just, just get like... I don't know. I have to go to the hospital and just kind of thing where... Yeah. I would like to put some... In uh, one of our employees' fucking lunchbox. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Which yeah. one? <laughs> <laughs> right there. Put some spiders in his sandwich. Yeah, he hurried me during lunch, and I didn't, I didn't like it. Yeah. He goes, you can eat it after. Yeah. He, he told it to me like a Gestapo. Yeah. He didn't do this? What? Yeah, he didn't give what? me it's a... Called like- wrap it up. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, it's really forceful. Yeah. Do you know what the best thing to, to say nowadays Jeez, to someone? Uh, dog. Did he say to you... um? Did I stutter? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Did I stutter? Did I stutter? I'm trying to say that more in casual conversation while being polite. Yeah. I'll See if I can say yeah. it like um, like at Starbucks. <laughs> like, I'll have a, uh, I'll have a grande Americana. It's like, I'm um, sorry, what was that? And I say, I'm sorry. Did I stutter? <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
saying it politely really changes it. Yeah. You know? Do it like at a nice restaurant yeah. when they're like, uh, and, and your order is like, I would like the uh, the clam bisque mm-hmm. and I would like to have the the ribeye medium rare. And she's like, I'm sorry, how would you like it cooked? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I stutter? I would like it medium rare. I don't think you can do it. No? I no. think you can't do it nice. No. no. I don't think it's possible for you to do it nice. You can try to do your nicest, nicest, and they're still going to go, Fucking shit! <laughs> yeah, because he's so very like, domineering. Oh yeah, like, yeah. I can't. I can't make it mean. I could say like, "Did I stutter?" <laughs> they would think like they would like to say, well, <laughs> "That's he's true." He's doing the movie. He's doing the movie thing. Yeah, that's true. Say like, "I'll cut you, bitch." Say it like as mean as you can. Well, that's not even. Po- I mean, yeah. Do you want me to say it to your face? Yeah, I'd be like, "I'll fucking cut you, you stupid bitch." <laughs> I don't think I can do it. Hey, your, your mother's a whore, Johnny. I'll fucking cut you, you stupid bitch. <laughs> hey, did I stutter? <laughs> hey, guess See, what, though? But here's the thing. I like yeah. that. I believe that you'll do something. You know right. what I mean? Like, I believe it. Yes. Yeah, because I'm scarier because it seems like I'm not. Yeah, right. you're so, crazy. So right. it's like what happens is somebody goes, I can't really put this guy into a category. Therefore, he's unpredictable. Therefore, his threats are real. So what I was thinking about doing, my scariest, <laughs> I shaved my head, like I had a buzz. Oh, did I stutter? <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Imagine if I had a buzzed head, a silver tooth, not a gold, silver tooth right there, uh-huh. and driving around listening to country music way Ooh. too loud, <laughs> listening to like Waylon Jennings, like sad Waylon Jennings, wearing like a, a <laughs> shirt buttoned up to the, to the neck, yeah. oh, and boy. then saying, did I fucking stutter in a southern yeah. accent? Yeah. That would be scary, I think. That's scary. I, yeah. I think polite did I stutter is my new favorite thing. I'm like, sorry, I might I go to Starbucks after this and just be like, can I get the <laughs> iced coffee? Splash million. They're like, how'd you like? I go, did I stutter? <laughs> Again, Tom, I'm scared. Wait, can yeah. I try it? Can I try it? Sure. I'm really in double highs. I'm sorry, what was that? I'm sorry, did I stutter? That yeah. actually works, but also. Can I do that? But was it menacing But then if all? you're that person, no, what happens if you're the person on the other end and you're like, like, yeah. like the yeah. fact that you like it's so rude to say. To <laughs> stutter, but but you can know? I pull it off the way Pemberton? Yeah, yeah, because that I'm actually. Sorry, did I stutter? Well, yeah, but inside, I mm-hmm. I'm definitely going you're like scared. this lady is out of her fucking yeah, yeah, mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's nuts. Yeah. She's like a psycho. Yeah, yeah like Who you're. Will do anything. You're the did fucking. I what's it? You're but this But you're lady. genuine. You're you're this lady right here. I was just at CVS and a man that doesn't even work for CVS wouldn't let me in the door and he threw me out the door. He doesn't even work for CVS. He wasn't wearing one of their shirts. What the fuck? Harrison mm. Cooper paid this man to make me angry. Erickson Cooper. Harrison Cooper? <laughs> They're not letting me buy things to hydrate myself. I want to buy some tea. <laughs> fuck you, America, for making me live like this. What the fuck is wrong with everyone? They said I'm not allowed to buy anything. What the fuck? So I think that she just got in to the second tier of the Groundlings, and she's just working out a character. Mm-mm. She's got the improv down. Yeah. She's writing now. She's in writing lab, and... This is just one of her characters. It's missing something key, though. Yeah, which is that is this. And then I fucking right. do that. It's that. True. It's the that turn, the yeah. drag, and the back on it. But see, that's yeah. why you're a graduate. You're a fucking varsity. Yeah, I'm a graduate because I that's know about true. the whole thing. Yeah, you got to tell her. My you're mom like, used to have this joke because she's from Louisiana. That how you can tell a redneck is when um, they don't take the cigarette out of their mouth when they tell the state patrolman to kiss my ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So it's like a thing where it's like, you know, <laughs> you can kiss my <laughs> But it's Cigna. That's a real. You can kiss my. Swamp yeah. lady. A real fucking yeah. stinker. <laughs> swamp lady. This lady's yeah. a real fucking animal. She certainly is. Well, Erickson Cooper. <laughs> Erickson fucking Cooper and. Yeah. Donda Lamon. Yep. <laughs> Donda Lamon. Dondi Lamon and Anderson freaking Crooper. Crooper. Well, she's got, she got a lot of that side talk on. Right? Yeah. Then I went up to that fucking door and he told me I had to take a shit right there, but I want to take a shit in the bathroom. I don't want to take a shit outside. <laughs> she wanted to hydrate. She said, I hydrate myself too, yeah. which is a weird, weird way of saying I was thirsty or I need water. That is true. She only blinked like myself. twice during that whole video yeah, the whole time her eyes are insanity wide it might be open. that thing that classic stupid talk where it's like you know the idiocracy thing the yeah. sir we have a particular individual yeah. 
I'm seeking to do a hydration drink inside this particular house of, of salesmanship and wish to <laughs> find a liquid object to do hydration to and this fucking, this ain't the particular person. <laughs> They sought to deny the hydration I sought from my <laughs> in the inside of body. <laughs> so accurate. This lady <sighs> walks in and out of places. I know, you know every day. Yeah. And this is the rage she walks around with. Fuck. Right now. All because of Anderson Cooper. <sighs> Anderson Cooper. Can we do Eric some Harrison. talks soon? You want to do talk? Okay, but he's so talks. good. Pemberton's good with his. He is. But let's see. Uh, I got off the talk. I got you. Got off talk. Yeah, I I couldn't. What? Hate I stopped watching it because I found it to be like, just, oh, there's an hour. I just did this for an hour. That's because yeah. your algorithm is not pure. No, I mean, it was so good. It was so good. Oh, it was good. Oh. I'm just like, this is better than any TV I've ever seen <laughs> yeah. in my life. I know. I can't handle the, the nonstop stream of novelty. I felt like I was like- It's great. On a roller coaster that just It's didn't a roller stop. coaster, I know. I know. It's really it's well, amazing. I time out my curations. Like my algorithm so my feed is pure. Yours, yours it's pure. is it's I watch your stories boom, boom. on Instagram and that's all I need. Because you see uh, some people yeah. where how is this person alive? You really have shit. a gift. You really have a gift. Yeah. I know, but I'm saying I get in, I get out. Like I get overloaded sometimes yeah. too. I go, yes, yes, yes. And then I, I reach a threshold where I like I got I gotta go. It's like when you play video games for too long. And you're like, if I go past this point, I'm going to lose my, like, you're losing your life. Are you ready for a horrible or hilarious first? Okay. And then can we do talks? Yeah. Okay. Is this funny to you? Oh, fucking fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Look how much you like that. Oh, God. I my leg, <laughs> You're going to murder me in my sleep. Now, I haven't seen this one, so I don't know if it's horrible or hilarious, but here it is. Okay. Right, but you like, oh, man, bro, you no, like, bro, no. you need to clean it, ho. Oh, man, I look at myself, see how long I see my shit. Mm. I just saw myself. I swear to God. I don't want to feel. Well, <laughs> that's horrible. That's horrible. Yep. Guy shot himself. It was a young kid, too. It, ma it makes me think of our children. Our boys could do that. Thanks, Wait, Tom. You didn't... That wasn't funny to you? No. He made a funny sound. What Who made a funny sound? The, the guy? guy? The, guy that, the guy that shot himself. Yeah, but he shot himself. <laughs> right. He's a kid. I just shot myself. He's a kid. Mm. Oh, I thought I said leg. I just shot my toe. Oh. He's a child. Mm. That was a big gun, too. Uh, let's uh let's cleanse our palates. <laughs> That's terrible too. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that hurts me. <laughs> What's he looking this at? This dude's such a boss. <laughs> He's not enjoying this, is he? He's like, every day I must do this. Every day. Every day she brings me in here. Half an hour. Ah, uh, have you ever watched The Office? If you have, you probably know that it's based on the UK series also called The Office. But what if I told you there are nine other countries with their own versions of The Office that you've never seen? Eye-opening to me. I'm sure it is to you too. You probably don't know about them because they're not usually available in your country. But you can access content available around the world with no geo restrictions when you use ExpressVPN. This is like stepping in to some hacker future stuff, man. Mm. It's so cool. ExpressVPN lets you control where you, where you want sites to think you're located. You can choose from nearly 100 different countries giving you access to content that isn't available in your region. Fascinating stuff. If you like watching shows or movies, ExpressVPN is definitely a must have. It's great for when you travel too, man. It's incredible. You can access things on Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, all the streaming services. So get the most out of your streaming services today at expressvpn.com slash your mom. If you use our link, you'll get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. Again, that's expressvpn.com slash your mom, expressvpn.com slash your mom to learn more. What? This I, one, you'll definitely, we, we just watched this earlier, but I know you'll appreciate this. Oh, okay. oh my fucking God. It's the Dry Dab King. Go oh my God. Hands rough together. Have I told so. you guys the pube story yet? <laughs> uh -uh. Okay, I'll tell you that after this. It's bad. So much dandruff, right? So much. She's not going to snort it, is he? 
I hope not. That's where I thought this was going too. Oh, but he's dandruff like, and hair. Dandruff and dry. hair. Dry. He's the dry dab king. He's got it on his chain. Cheers. Cheers. Ugh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> why is he? Why is he gagging? <laughs> I don't think it tastes good. Why, why, why is it gagging though? I think he'd rather eat a wasp's nest. Than what is this shit? Smoking your dandruff in your hair. Oh. Why does he have to do a second hit? Uh, I don't know. know. Wee, I'll take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh my God. <laughs> take it easy. I'll tell you one, one thing is a, a fat person's never done this. <laughs> This only a uh, super skinny guy with no shirt does something like yeah, this. I mean, <laughs> take it easy. <laughs> Who's he talking to? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's so true that you would never see a fat person. This do motherfucker this. This so smoked his hair and his dandruff. Take it That's uh, right. He did a second. And he's like, it's terrible. I got to try it again. Shit. Ugh. This reminds me of the worst thing I've, the, probably the grossest thing I've ever done in my life. This is the One, pube thing? Yeah. Okay. I haven't told this on the podcast. I don't remember so. this. It's in, it's in high school. What'd you do? Mm. Remind me. It sounds uh, like we, my friend Phil and I, we, um, mm-hmm. in the, in the cafeteria, we, uh, raked a bunch of loose pubes. <laughs> we spent like probably 20 minutes raking our, you know, our high school pubic bushes. Mm-hmm. With our hands, of course. Yeah, just getting them out. Just I'm raking them clean. Yeah, yeah. Throw up already. <laughs> Ooh, baby, this is such an embar- this is such a deeply embarrassing story. Ugh. We uh, raked a big big old pile of them, <laughs> put them on a napkin, <laughs> and then Ooh. we put a napkin on top of that, and we told a girl we knew to come over <laughs> and sit down. <laughs> this is the worst part of it. Took the napkin off and looked at her and was like, "Hey," and she's like, "What is that?" It's like. <laughs> our fucking pubes <laughs> <laughs> and guess what she like she left yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> did she sit on it or she sat next to no, it no not sitting on it it was on the table okay so and like, oh, the, you, know, oh you showed it to her you take off those domes at she's a like high, what is that yeah. yeah she's like what the fuck is that and we're like oh, it's, it's pubes it's our pubes pubes and she's like i'm sorry and you're like did i stutter <laughs> These are my pubes. Did I stutter? Yeah. And uh, I think she was probably looked at us differently pretty much forever she just, after that. She just that. got up yeah. and walked away. Yeah. I think that's the one of those things where I realized like, oh, this is, this is not a good idea. Yeah. Chicks don't dig that stuff. Yeah. That's the big difference between women and men. I feel like at that age is a woman would never do that. Probably no. not. No. no. If she did, she's so <laughs> unbelievably unstable. Like yeah. that, that girl, like a guy who does that could just be like, yeah. A fuck around goofball. A yeah. girl who does that, That's so sick. she's gonna kill somebody. <laughs> Rakes like, the patch, yeah. makes a pile, unveils it like it's a hors d'oeuvre or something like that, in the lunchroom too, on a table that we probably. That's- that's the of. grossest part is that it was during lunch because like like that's yeah. when crazy shit happened in high school was during lunchtime, and I think that's like if it was in in home home homeroom. Yeah, I could have forgiven it more. Like if it was just in a sterile classroom setting, but there was food involved. Like yeah, because you have the fog of the morning to excuse it on. Sure. This was, you know, 1 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. And what, what year were you guys? <sighs> I mean, does it matter? <laughs> I mean, it's a Probably little. Probably like a junior year. Yeah. That's <laughs> pretty. It's, <really>, it's <laughs> <Yeah>. good. <laughs> You're Got like, that time. Check out all those pubes, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think I didn't have a lot of pubes freshman year, probably. So. If I were, if I were at, with you at school, I'd be like, oh man, let me let me go get some of my pubes. Let me rake. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of pubes. Let me add to this pile. <laughs> but I love what I love. And then I'd be like, can you tell which is mine, which is Johnny's? Yeah. Yeah. Right there. You have to like, smell it, tell the difference. Ugh, like, ugh. But I do hope that boys today can still do that. Pube pile. To other girls, to yeah. to girls. You know what I mean? Like I. Because that's so important that you learn that lesson of like, oh, totally. that's where the boundary is. Girls don't want to see that stuff. And then you calibrate accordingly. Because oh. now if you did that, you'd probably be canceled. right? I you'd think be- if, <laughs> if I didn't get in trouble with a couple girls early on, who knows where I'd be right now? I'd probably be in fucking jail or some shit, you know? You got in trouble? <laughs> Not in trouble. Just be like, don't do that. It's like, oh, you're right. Don't do that. Yeah, you Not learn. like terrible stuff, but just yeah. stuff like that's gross. Yeah, gross stuff. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that gross thing. It's like, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay. 
That's what you mean. Oh, so don't do that. God, I Got will it. never do that again. Yeah. Because you're yeah. right. That's gross. I was just yeah. being super gross. Yeah. yeah. You just have to learn. Yeah, it's true. I mean, without women correcting us for being gross, we'd just be much more gross, you know? We'd yeah. basically all just be camping. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just be like shitting in, uh, you know, yeah. blue piles and whatever n- nonsense. Hey, show me your shit. No, don't cover it up yet. <laughs> Can I see it? Let me watch you take a shit real quick. I would definitely be doing it. Like if it hadn't, Ugh. if like I didn't know now not to do that, you know, if I'd never, like right. I would definitely, if I were camping, I'd be like, let me watch you take a shit. So I can just, I want to see it come out. See, but I wonder if girls are just socialized to be this way. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. you guys are encouraged to be slobs and disgustos. Yeah. We're socialized to be yeah. normal, you know? So maybe if I were raised more, I was raised a bit feral, yeah. which is why I'm open to poopy and fart humors and stuff this takes me back on why it's got to be great to be gay you know, oh man it's gay men not gay women you don't, you, don't have to, you don't have to like Short you don't have to deal with any of the like hey clean it up you know yeah. it's like you can yeah. just be like wouldn't that be a dream for you yeah trick off on my stomach yeah you but know? do you think gay guys dump in front of each no they're not like you have to keep the, the cool mystery ones do. alive the fucking cool <laughs> ones do yeah they got the plexiglass set up <laughs> They got that special plex and all like the fiber bars, everything. It's all like, it's like a, it's a rhythm. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. Um, you guys can try. Wait, do what I open here? The tox or this is 2020 tox? There's two folders. Uh, just the tox. Not this is 2020. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Are you ready for some tox? I'm Are you I'm ready to talk? I'm ready for tox. <laughs> bitches were looking for me. Bitch, here I go. All right, here we go. If you suggest my my replies you're on drugs what you must be on drugs okay are you are you fucking high yeah he does a lot of stuff like this yeah this guy looks like a cdc expert right there with that <laughs> angle <laughs> classic uh, expert expert angle. angle yeah yeah <laughs> they're like this is the world's leading infectious disease doctor and he's like uh. all he needs is a window so it's totally blown out <laughs> And like a cat to yeah. cross the front of the, the camera. Walmart and some other stores are wanting you to wear a mask in their store. Uh huh. <laughs> Four months or so into the thing. Yeah. They didn't require it when they should have. Look at those gums. I was born in the U.S. I have rights and freedoms. And <laughs> I just not shop your store. Yeah. yeah. If you're going to tell me that I need to wear a mask even if I'm not sick. I think that is pushing it. Because what's going what's gonna to go from, oh, it's just a mask to, it's just an inoculation with a GPS chip. <laughs> oh, it's just just a card, So and, and we don't accept cash, so the government can control whether you're poor or rich. What? Wake up. Because this is not a test. <laughs> They want to see who's going to stand up and say, no, this is not okay, and who will lay down like a bitch. Preach. Yeah. <laughs> you got your, finally, your first, like, real newsworthy talk. Thank you for including this one. Thank you. Finally I, a serious I one. I do wish he would visit a dentist, because the red gums and the, his teeth look so bad. He is, like, a He lot. could visit a CVS, <laughs> and that would be good. He just needs a goddamn toothbrush. And just floss yeah. a little bit. I like when Pillman goes, I was born in this country. You're not going to fucking tell me. <laughs> Look, I, w- I will not shop your store. I will not do a shop shop at your store. If you if you put a, put a what's next? You're going to ask to see my shit when I come <laughs> What's next? You're going to want a semen sample from my body with a needle? What's next, huh? Take off my shoes. <laughs> his, his logical uh, deductions are not very good i like like i always like the steps are a little far-fetched when a guy um when they do the threat of like you won't be seeing my money in your store and and (laughs) then you have to go like how will walmart survive (laughs) without you buying straws and uh fucking i will take pieces my business elsewhere okay (laughs) looks like 7-eleven is gonna get a little bump in their quarterly revenue Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I know where I'm buying my toilet paper now, and it is not at this particular location of shop. 
the shop that you do to business for my life in this place that I do it, I will be finding a location that is a different one. Understand me that this shop is done, closed for my business to do you. So if you can compute that sentence that I'm throwing to your direction, possibly you need to understand that where we are going is a place that you need to find a wake-up call because otherwise you will be under lock and key by governments. <laughs> How could you step into his stupid mind so perfectly? <laughs> I mean, do you know people like this? Uh, I feel like I like to think in this way a lot. It feels it's therapeutic to think in like the... The sort of like the riddle speak of uh, yeah. governments will try to do things to you <laughs> that will be apprehensible to a lifestyle unknown to your body. And when they do that to such things as children yeah. that are Just... defensible, unknown to these outside objects, you have to wake up and destroy that which is a government's <laughs> intelligence on you. Look at your phone, huh? <laughs> the best one that drops stuff like, um, here we go. How about this? Why don't you take out your phone right now and look at it? Guess what? I'll wait. It's looking back at you. <laughs> <laughs> this man has insight right here, y'all. I have oh, here. Oh, shit. Probably go there and have bought 24. No, 18 characters. Huh? Go there What the Quite fuck? Weird. I got two of them right there. Oh, shit. Over here. <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> it's just part of the conversation. <laughs> it is it acknowledge it. This again, our CDC expert right here. <laughs> <laughs> that is the perfect angle. <laughs> this is the National Health Institute director right here. In the bathroom. <laughs> I puts it on the floor. Upskirt. <laughs> oh, fuck. Middle of the conversation. 18 <laughs> And uh, <laughs> Wait, I, was that a drool or was that a spit? No, spit. He spit. It was a spit. He spit. See, I thought it was a drool. No, I spit, spit up like a. I have earrings. You got earrings. Gold. Oh. Solid gold earrings. Solid gold. gold. Twenty four. No, eighteen carat. Eighteen carat gold. Earring. That they cost <laughs> quite a bit. He's got a dip got in. Two of them right there. Yeah. Something that we're here. Oh, he's got a dip in. Yeah, but I mean, still, that's his floor, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's got. You know what, Tom? Maybe he's got a spray can. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Maybe he's got a spray can that's been cut Ooh. open jaggedly with a knife. <laughs> Fuck. Or maybe he's got like a Sanka coffee can down yeah, there. Yeah, just down there. He just spits in it. I, I mean, mean, he didn't think twice he, about it. He's just like, that's he what He doesn't you, even break. Yeah. yeah. He's just wow. like, well, anyways, I went back outside and I did the thing. I don't know if it's Jesus a cup or what, Christ. but he definitely. I don't know. He definitely wants you to tell you about his earrings. He's like, I got it. This costs a lot. This is, a, this is true. This is gold. It really yeah. is. Wow. Is because this one that came up on yours? Yes. Jesus Christ. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this is like... It's so pure. It's so pure. China already owns... We're done, right? Yeah. yeah. Like they own We us. should do like... Look at his ceiling. We should do it's a garbage. series of these where we, we just... We take, we take ones like this. <laughs> and we throw in a ki like a th lower third that says like Dr. Peterson <laughs> from CDC, and then we could even like dub over voices. Like, yeah, like, like what are you talking? You got to wear your mask when you go when you walk into a store or when you're with near crowds. <laughs> <laughs> That's like really you gotta, hi, y'all. Forget the Subway sandwich video I had. There's nothing better than Subway and Jimmy John. The <laughs> right next stop. Fuck? Uh, so wait, and, and Tommy, and Jimmy, Tommy John, Jimmy, Johns. Jimmy Johns. This is insane. He's combining the two. He's combining yes. the two. That's also yes. brilliant. I've never heard it's that before. Smart. I've never <sighs> ever heard somebody <laughs> combining Subway and Jimmy Johns and well, making the ultimate sandwich. Because they're, right. they're so good in and of themselves. Right. But to combine the two, that's really crazy. And he's not usually this productive. Things I did at the beginning of being polyamorous that I no longer do or believe in, and why. Okay. Asking for or expecting veto power from my partner. Veto power is when you tell your partner that if something about your relationship makes them uncomfortable, they have the right to pull the plug on it. Healthy polyamory doesn't control people. It allows people to be who they are as long as there's open communication and safety. Don't ask, don't tell. Don't ask, don't tell in polyamory is when you just agree that you can do what you want, but you just don't talk to your other partner about what you're doing or with whom or when. 
Anything in polyamory that encourages less communication is automatically a no in my book. Yeah. Don't ask, don't tell. Acknowledge this, that you're going to experience anxiety, but it doesn't do anything about it. True. Only hooking up, no falling in love. This one is actually secretly discriminatory against aromantic people. That's true. Because it implies that if you're not in love with someone, it's not a real relationship. You're also then approaching new connections by thinking first about what somebody can do for you and not who they are. This is part one. <laughs> Sounds like a fucking second job right yeah, here. I know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know. I would do anything not to have to deal with this stuff. This sounds like some strict fuck special like maze. <laughs> it's too complicated. God. So much work. It's discriminatory like, you know against what? aromantic it, people. And here's the thing. A speech like like this oh. makes me want to be discriminatory against them. <laughs> like yeah. I'm like, if this is your spokesperson, I would like you to not be allowed in this building. And how unfun of a lay is this one, huh? Oh, to have man. to hear all this shit. This is like, this like, kind of reminds me of, um, of like this shit, you know? This is perhaps one of my uh. most requested videos. Today we're going to talk about hybrid children. Oh, my name God. is Shosh. I use they, them pronouns, and I'm a starseed, channeler, and spirit worker. Of course you are. Hybrid children are a type of star being that consists partly of our DNA and partly of the DNA of other galactic energies. Yeah. So if you are a starseed, you may also consider yourself a hybrid child. But when I talk about uh. hybrid children, I'm talking about the ones that are not yet here. No, this is me, so guys. Hold I work on. with Sorry. hybrid children. Uh, right now, they're living on, on ships in kind of parallel worlds or realms. And they're actually in schools where they learn about what living on Earth is like because they are going to be coming here eventually. Right. <laughs> Probably sooner than we think. So I work with them in my meditations, teaching them things, and I also have a hybrid child myself. Okay. So my child is made up partly of my energetic template. Show the child. I personally don't remember the time in which my Show um, it. energetic template was sampled, but some of you may remember these experiences. There's going to be a part two. Oh, there's gotta be a part two. If she doesn't show the hybrid in this part two. No, it's not there. I call bullshit on that. Yeah. Oh my God. Wow. Street people, check it out. You oh. guys ask what my favorite meal is? This is prison. This oh. is my favorite meal here. To you, it might not look like much. It looks good, But actually. to me, this is it. So the, there's been a whole new... Uh, swarm or whatever cluster prison talks prison talks wow yeah which i'm completely fascinated by how do you have a phone in prison Dude, there's, that's there's, why it's there's the whole best. instagrams in prison oh yeah. my god i can't believe that I, <laughs> yeah. i'm like this to me it's gonna change things because i was you know bummed out i just was honestly bummed because i felt like well, this is this is this is at Ka cali convict yeah if you're interested in following him on this <laughs> convict man? i love when people what own it, it they're man. like yep convict <laughs> Straight up, Cali convict, hey, dog. Piru, what's up? So, uh -oh. <laughs> well, it, uh, but the big question is: Are those enchiladas or is that lasagna? Be, what do you Su think? Enchiladas, enchiladas. Because look, there's beans with the enchiladas. Looks pretty good. Not, not gonna lie. <laughs> uh uh. That's uh, not bad. I would eat that. I would eat that too. I like the cheesy melted stuff yeah. over there. Yeah, that actually looks. I mean, that's not too bad. No, it's not. He's a, saying that's the home run. That's the shit. That's his prison, favorite yeah. meal. Yeah. Hey, y'all, you know what? Tomorrow's Friday. Okay. Same guy. I'm is it Jimmy John's guy? Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to be ready to party with the Redneck Nation. And everybody agrees? Say, hell right. Hell the right. The Redneck Nation. Live stream tomorrow. What'd you pull this one? Just excited for him? Well, it's Friday and he's going to drink. And he's hanging out with his hillbilly friends. Yeah. And I just thought it was nice that they have a club to belong to. Oh, and okay. I like that his eyes are going one, one eye goes this way, one eye goes that way. <laughs> okay. I like this guy. Yeah, yeah. He's fun. If his mouth didn't probably definitely smell, <laughs> yeah, I think I would be down to have him on my podcast. <laughs> for real. Like, I could talk to this guy for I a good hour. I use all my tiny peach bruises. I have lost my pocket knife. I was trying to. I got cut... <laughs> I actually cut part of my my vagina up accidentally. Oh, oh Christ. <laughs> did he, did you hear what he did? Yeah, yeah, I heard about the cuts. And it also, it's a little messy in that room. I don't know if you picked up on the extraordinary amount of trash on the floor. Here's what I wonder. I wonder if there's any sort of tobacco dip yeah. in that McDonald's cup. Yeah. <laughs> his vagina got cut too. Hers, sorry. But his this is that same guy? From the bathroom with I the dress? Don't, I don't know. No, no. Uh, that guy's place was cleaner than this. They must uh, know each other, though, right? <laughs> he might have been spitting right into that cup, actually. 
you know? <laughs> McDonald's cups are great for spit and dip mm -hmm. into. Wide. Yeah, tall. wide open, yep. <laughs> hey, I'm looking for a girlfriend my age, 25. Please, um, like, please friend me on Snapchat if you want to be my girlfriend. Okay. It's Josh underscore AFT. Again, it's Josh underscore AFT. Thank you. So this guy works for the AHF? Uh... <laughs> American Health Federation. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't thought know. it was a Kyle Dunnigan video when it started. Oh God, you're right. <laughs> but what I find unique about this one is that he's on TikTok, but he asks the girls to go to Snapchat, which is another platform altogether, to message him. Like, why oh, not right. just message you on the talk? Because maybe uh, he's can. confused. <laughs> yeah. It seems to a be a lot of the health directors are confused <laughs> these days. So it could be, could be what was ha what's happening. <sighs> Now, <laughs> you'll remember last week. Okay, well. You'll remember last week he was just going meow, meow, meow. Uh -huh. yeah. This week he figured out how to put a fireball effect on the meow. And that's what you're seeing is the evolution of an artist. It's a fire kitty. Mm -hmm. It's just a classic mm. little fire kitty right there. I apologize to people that are listening only and who are like, well, why are my earbuds blowing out right now? <laughs> because of the cool fire effect that this man discovered. <laughs> TikTok big handy. <sighs> All right. Hi. Congratulations, the Cure Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees 2019. Are you as excited as I am? Um, by the sounds of it, no. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Smith is a class act. The best. Robert Smith is like... Love him. That's, Class act. That's pretty amazing. That's yeah. why I wanted to show you that the yeah. cure is the, the coolest. Yeah. That's Robert Smith. Uh, by sure. the sound of it, no. <laughs> <laughs> I could see you doing that. Like, Tom Segura, you've been nominated for your first Emmy. Are you excited? Not um, really. No. I don't want to be here. I have to be here. <laughs> I absolutely <coughs> don't want to be here. <coughs> if you're going to cough, go outside. <laughs> All right. You have to do that now. <coughs> Can I do a bathroom break? Yeah. Of course. I drank so much tea. Sure. Yeah. Let's take a little break. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Honey. So uh, a couple more here. Okay. You know you're in love with somebody when you can't barely stand it when they go to work. I don't want them to go to work. <laughs> that's the bad crazy. Remember we're talking about crazy <laughs> chicks? That's yeah. not a good one. That's really unstable. Yeah, that's not. I kind of wish you were like this, though. You wish I was like this? <laughs> Just show me a little motion. Yeah. Like when you leave the house, I'll be like, <laughs> like that. Uh, there's something I want to show you that's not a talk, but I think you're going to really like it. Okay. It's a pretty cool video. Straight to Ed Asner. Remember oh, Elf, yeah. that movie? Mm -hmm. Elf? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. He played Santa Claus. Right. Okay. He's a guy who talks. He's like a kind of crotchety old yes. white haired man. Yeah. yeah. Right before you come. Yeah. yeah. I'll swallow if I want to. I have no problem swallowing. <laughs> I'd stop for a minute and I'd put a big hickey on your inner thigh there and uh, just suck on that and make it nice and red and let you remember me after I'm gone. Turn over and, and I would play with your cheeks, maybe even massage your little hole and make you feel just the only man in my life. You're, you're just it. So that's well, it. Well, it's normal oh. size. It's, it's, not, it's not that that big. Well, the one, the one, thing, the one thing that I'm going to tell you is that uh, the first time it's it's going to be quick with me because it's been a long time. Okay, you come. You come. Let me see. Let me see how much you come. Let me, <laughs> let me see all that come. How, how much, uh, how, how big a load I'm going to swallow. I, I, need it, I, I need it right now. I need it right now, okay? Can you see this? Okay, give it to me now. Can give it to me this? now. I can't see give it. Give it to me. Come on, Mark, don't be, <laughs> don't be stingy. Don't be stingy. I'm going to put this in your mouth, and you're going to have to suck it dry. You're going to just suck it dry, Mark. You've got that beautiful mouth. <laughs> Give it to me, Mark. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can feel it. Mm. Oh, that's going to be good. Oh, that's going to be good. Oh, oh, oh. He sounds like a pediatrician. <laughs> I know. It's Damn. Like you bet I'm coming up in May. You better believe I'm coming up in May. Oh, yeah. Oh, you are terrific. I know you're going to be good in bed. That's all I can say. 
So <clears throat> that's what ASMR is. That is right. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, he uh, he's denied that this is him. He he put out a statement saying that it wasn't him. I, no, he didn't. <laughs> no. Oh God. <laughs> Jesus Christ, now how cool would that be? Oh. be so cool. <laughs> Nothing would say that's you than denying it is. I know. I know. <laughs> oh, Many of you have asked me about a video circulating the interwebs. Put the headset on. <laughs> a me, man uh, telling Mark not to be stingy with his cum. I want you to know that's not me. <laughs> it's not me, goddammit. It's not fucking me. I would never go that long without swearing. <laughs> The Pemberton, isn't it weird that he's talking as though he's giving a presentation on fusion, cold fusion? Like, that, there's no passion. To me, he sounds like the, the tech when you get an MRI. Yeah. He's like, yeah. okay, over the left. Yeah. Hold your breath. Hold your breath. Don't Three, move. Three, two. Okay, breathe. It's going to be it's gonna be about a minute right here. Just don't move for about a minute. You're going to hear a lot of loud noise. Relax. Okay, relax. Good. 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 Mark, that's good. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Mark, hold on. Hold it a second. No, I hope, Mark, I'm going to come now. Hold on. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm going to... Uh, hold. No, I'm not going to come, Mark. I mean, I'm going to... Uh, uh, you can hear a loud we're, sound. We're, we're going to scan your knee is what I meant to say. Mark, I accidentally said I was going to come. You can hear a loud sound, Mark. Uh, hold on. Loud sound. You're going to breathe. And I'm coming. I mean, uh, we're... Uh, I've come. <laughs> oh, I can feel it. Mm. Oh, uh. that's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> when you hear it apart from the video, it's so much better. I know. Mm -hmm. I think that's what bothers me is the big fat belly. Yeah. And then he can't even see his own dick. Yeah. And... Come on, Mark. Don't be stingy. Uh. <laughs> oh, man. Like, if you cut out a few words, you'd have no idea what he's talking about. No. You'd think, you, he's like... you'd think it's a chat room where I think yeah. it's like collectors. Like they collect like trains yeah. or stamps or something. He's like, yeah, I got that one in 83. And the last time I, they stopped making them. So now the value's gone way up. They're way up with the. Let me see all that gum. Oh. Let me see it. And he's also too literal. It's too. Yeah. It's like those dates we saw where that. Remember that show we were watching where that okay, couple. you come. Was like, I really enjoy spending all this time with you. Yeah. I'm really enjoying holding your hand right now. It feels yeah. really warm in my heart. Like. It's it's too on the nose. It's yeah. like a book on tape. It yeah. Is. Sounds like he's reading yeah. it. Yeah. It's and Mark true. and Mark said to the man, I'm ready for your come. <laughs> yeah. He laid down and found a new place to lay with leaves. It you know what it reminds me of? The fucking the Dar the Dar Man video. Yes, oh, it's too little. Yeah. To the Dar Man shit. I watched We those showed those last oh. week. Have you seen the one where he's talking to the camera? Maybe this is all of them after the video, where he clearly has Two beards. Yeah. Is that how he always is? Where he has the he has the goatee beard that's thick, and then it's been trimmed down to like a one or a two going what? from the ears. Hey Darman fam, <laughs> I hope you love that message. Please remember <sighs> we're not just telling stories, we're changing lives. And when you share my videos, you're helping to change lives too. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video. There's one I watched where <sighs> he was in like a high rise it looked like. I think it was the one where he doesn't have a hat on and it's very well lit. Definitely two levels of beard. He's trimmed yeah. it. Yeah. It's well, because creepy. you'll notice his eyebrows are very thick, thick, thick yeah. black. And then it, and his beard eyes are also like so thin. Do you he's think he's like barely like, opening his eyes? Mm, it's a smile because he's put on that big, big phony baloney smile. Yeah. I bet yeah. they rent a house once a month. They're constantly on the move because it's like. <laughs> They're all these are all like sex slaves, probably. They stole them from different countries. <laughs> Is he countries. stoned? No. It's so weird, though. The videos are so strange. Yeah. They're so strange. I feel like we, we lit them up pretty hard. And I was thinking that in a perfect world, if, if, it, if there really was like just a poetic end to this, he would put out one of his videos where it says like, uh, podcasting, uh, podcasts makes fun of person and immediately regrets it, like 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 his titles yeah. are. And then he has like a four hundred pound guy, <laughs> and, he, and I'm like, he's like, and then the girl like with huge lady. tits with big yeah, tits. Yeah. And then what they're doing is they're making some, fun of someone for being happy. You know, they're like, yeah. look how happy this loser is. And then, <laughs> and then like they stop recording and then they're sad. Yeah, and they no, they bicker between like their yeah. marriage is secretly falling And they walk apart. outside and they see the happy person again and, and, yeah. and the happy person's real nice. Like, hey guys, did 
did you want something mm. to eat? And, and like, the key to a... would be the podcast host would have a Rolls Royce. Yeah, yeah. Right, because rich, rich same Rolls. Rich people videos. are bad. Yes. Mm-hmm. Rich people are bad. That's yeah. right. And then, um, yeah, and then so it's like, and then the lesson he's is like, don't be mean to people that are just enjoying something and being happy. You know. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Because because he has cause, very on the nose messages. Yeah. Like, don't be mean to poor people. <laughs> Like, okay, okay. Don't be like flat out mean to anyone you see. Yeah. Don't don't. be like, ah, a nerd, stupid nerd. (laughs) 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 Oh, I remember you. You were from 35 years ago. It's Norman the nerd. (laughs) You're still a nerd, you stupid nerd. Stupid nerd. (laughs) 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 (laughs)
The White Castle movie? Second unit director. Oh, okay. Wait, where, where's his uh, directing credits? Oh, my God. Director. I bet oh, he's still working. So... Matchmaker Mysteries of Fatal Romance. I think oh. a bunch of these are probably Hallmark movies, actually. Yeah, he's doing, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. probably just what they call it, a Hallmark ringer. They bring him in. Yeah. He just busts that out. He shoots the whole movie in six days. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And they're like, we had this budgeted for 27. He's like, nah. I'll do it in six. Six days. <laughs> Easy. What about the Christmas Lodge? But what about the Christmas Lodge? We can't get into Christmas Lodge. Oh, is, is that, it? Is that Christmas Lodge? <laughs> Wait. Christmas Lodge? Is this, is that, is that Christmas Lodge? What I wouldn't give for one more year at Christmas Lodge. Did I stutter? I want to go back to the lodge. Oh, did I stutter? I like the city. <laughs> throw away, throw away, throw, throw away, away the, the trash. trash. Come, Come on, everybody. everybody. Let's throw, throw away, away the, the trash. trash. I gotta hear this it's now. Good it's pretty good. Yeah, we actually liked some of the songs on there. Yeah, you kind I of I almost forget it. that they're not professional singers. I think I like the non-professional stuff maybe better. It's yeah, the authenticity. You yeah. know, there's a very uh, there's an authentic quality to yeah. it. Yeah, like that. Like you know, we can't write, we can't sing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you write the songs too? <laughs> we have to have some sort of a like a helper, right? Like a teacher. Yeah, yes. Who's there's like putting it together. There's somebody who's like, hey guys, put the fucking food down. Let's do it from the top. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got to put be your snacks the away and let's go from the top. <laughs> the guy who blows in the pitch pipe. <laughs> 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 Jeremy, they can hear you chewing. There's a microphone there. Okay, you gotta go. You gotta try. Oh it again. my god, I want to do a voice, but I don't think I can do it. You can do it. I don't you, think I can. This is a safe space. I know yeah. it's a safe space. This space is safe, <laughs> but I have to exist outside the space sometimes. Sometimes, oh. yeah. yeah, yeah. So well, and that precludes me from doing the voice I want to do. Doing the voice you want to do. Well, oh. I could say it's the voice of my dog. One last. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do your dog's do voice. Do your dog's voice. My dog's voice? Yeah, yeah, do your dog's voice. It's so hard to do without looking at her, but okay. she's a 75 pound, oh, she's 85 pounds, sorry. 85 pounds like mutt, right? And she talks like, um, oh, you fucking biss. I fucking hate you, stupid bits. That's what she says to, to my wife, but she doesn't feed her. Goddamn fucking bits. I bite your fucking dick off, you dumb piece of sweat. I'll cut your fucking balls off, you piece of sweet. God fucking damn it. Oh, she sees something and she goes, Holy skip! <laughs> Which is holy shit. <laughs> holy skip! I uh, missed the mail, ma'am. We got this whole, we got That's this, really uh, adorable. this email from a listener. Yeah. Did you read this? Uh, what? No, I didn't, I okay. didn't read that. It just, it's, just, it's just funny. I think v you got to kick it. What's the email address? Uh, it's your mom's podcast at gmail.com. Our dog goes, hi. Hey guys. It's fun to do dog boys. I feel like it's okay. not. Okay. Yeah. says, hey, man, I just want to reach out and let you know that I got to share RPC's original Oh Get Off <laughs> orgasm with the entire open heart surgical team today. <laughs> I was in charge of music and pulled up a YouTube playlist on my phone, or so I thought. Uh, I didn't realize that I only picked a song and not the full playlist. What was queued up next was YMH episode 420. The timing was impeccable as I was, as I was sterile placing a central line and my phone was in my pocket of my scrubs, meaning there was no way for anyone to get it without yes. knowing what episode yes. it was. I was trying to place the central line as fast as possible, only to have the intro stop and hear RPC demanding to get fucked by black guys <laughs> who love to fuck and fuck good. Oh, from jail, homeless, or um, you're a thug. If you want to move in, you can move in, but you got to fuck me. He said it made for a fantastic conversa conversation, especially with the older Filipino scrub nurse who was less than pleased with RPC's enthusiasm. Oh Pass this along to Drew as well as he would understand the dynamic. Keep feathering it, Andrew. I love it. Yeah, pretty wow. great. Wow. Yeah. Good, good work. Pretty that would good. be, I would like if a you cool scene in a movie, movie actually. Movie, That'd be really funny. Me. Yeah. That's... Start to fuck me up. Oh, get off! So that's what he had in the fucking heart surgery. surgery. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna come <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what you you, I would Christmas pay money lodge? to see that Just yeah. like to see like a scene you know Like that scene in Swingers with the answer machine It's like the same thing Yeah, yeah. Just like the tension of that Oh my that god, That song is so intense too a, But this was a surgeon this, So this is like a surgery team right So yeah surgeon But who was the one who was playing it Was the surgeon Yeah I think yeah. so yeah So that's okay Because if it was like oh, Imagine right. it was like a scrub nurse or oh, some I know. shit He's, And the surgeon's like 
Uh, hearing about black guys fucking this guy while I'm trying to put this in someone's heart. You would get fired. Yeah, probably. Definitely. Like, like. <laughs> real fast. You get fired like. Yeah. Uh, real All right. fast. All right, we got a wrap here. Um, okay. oh, what great. we got here? Good uh, straight out of Proto by Matt and Kyle. Yeah. And uh, also, where can people? Because you're you're killing it with the shirt game, man. Oh yeah. Well, you can see him on my. Uh, I mean, on Instagram. I see him on Instagram. Yeah. Instagram, which is just Johnny underscore Pemberton, or you can um, go to Johnny Pemberton dot dog, and I have everything <laughs> there. And the YouTube, I put everything up on YouTube too, which is YouTube. dot com slash Just My Nipples. <laughs> Just my nipples. Just my nipples, and same with Twitch. It's uh, twitch.tv slash just my nipples. So. Great. Pemby, we love you, man. We yeah, love man. you so I much. I love being here. It's the most fun you can have, I think. Thanks a lot, brother. <sighs> What's up there, Chomo? Listen here. Money right now. Money, money right now. You're fired, bud. You Damn stupid chill. fuck. Money right now. Money, money right now. You're fired, bud. You've just fired. ruined your life. Money right now. Money, money right now. You're fired, bud. <gasps> You're on fire! Money right now, money, money right now. You know what? You're fired, okay? You didn't follow pro. This is America, you dumb son of a bitch. This is America, you I'm stupid sure. fuck. What is this place? Baby raper on your face. Oh, Touch my camera through the fence, you faggot. Peterson Connell, the motherfuckers. That's the way you do it. You feather in a feather. Falcon car wash. Light yourself on fire. Look your feather eating this shit. Light <laughs> your brain on fire. Fucking asshole. Look at that fucking thing. Yeah. Look at that fucking pink eye drink. Doesn't that feel great? He didn't fall proto, buddy, buddy, buddy. You're done. Money right now, money, money right now. You're fired, bud. You stupid fuck. Money right now, money, money right now. You're fired, bud. You've just Fine. ruined your life. Money right now, money, money right now. You're fired, bud. <gasps> You're on fire. Money right now, money, money right now. You know what? You're fired, okay? You didn't fall pro. Ta ta there, retard. Hi, thank you for watching that episode of Your Mom's House. Please continue to watch more. You can see all these were my hands gesturing. You can click on those. And please subscribe if you have not yet. And subscribe button, and then we'll get your money. Thanks.